Are you guys circumcised? Circumcised, yeah. I got that fade. <laughs> 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 yeah, I went to Floyd's on Melrose. <laughs> But I'm but I'm stand up comedy. Yeah, Michael Blauson is going to be yelling about feet. Where I'll tell you, February seventeenth, eighteenth. That is this freaking weekend. I'll be in Virginia Beach. Three out of the four shows will sold out. So go get tickets Good before club. you can't. Such a fun club. March second, I'll be in Miami, Mr. Florida. Bob. Boom, boom, boom. Those things are really moving and grooving. I took that from Trevor. He always says that. March third to the fourth, I'll be in Orlando, Florida. Those tickets are going to March twenty third to the twenty fifth. I'll be in St. Louis, Missouri. April sixth to the eighth. Trevor just got up, so he doesn't. Care about my career. March 6th to the 8th, I'll be in Buffalo, New York. March 14th and 15th, I'll be in Richmond, Virginia. May 5th to the 6th, I'll be in Des Moines, Iowa. And guys, let me tell you a secret. There's so many more dates on my website. That is blogcomedy.com, blogcomedy.com. Mr. Wallace? I got no tour dates right now. But you have... Working on some. I got some good videos. Go check them out. Go check them out right now. <laughs> Hannah Byrne is on the podcast what today. Up? I tried what's to do up, your podcast up? over the pandemic, but you had the world's worst Wi-Fi. Remember that? You're uh -oh. Like, oh, oh, my yeah, cat. I blamed the Wi-Fi why I didn't the want to do the pod. You invited oh, me. Fuck. You invited oh, me. Fuck. The truth comes out. You know what? No, CGI no. her out. Get this, her out of here. This shit was so fucked up. Actually, I wanted you on my pod. I was so excited to have you on. And I love cats. And I yeah. spent like the whole night watching your cat, cat. YouTube yeah. videos there over and over again. And I was all nervous. I was like, oh my God, the cat guy's coming on. And then. <laughs> okay. The, uh, that's was, how you refer to me? Cat In guy? the cat community, you are a big deal. Am I? Yes. Are you? Dude, I do that's get a kind free. Of the cat litter robot just... sent me a free litter robot. So <laughs> your boy's kind of out here. I mean, that's, cat that's ladies the just thing. Do I got hoes knocking on my door? No. no. Litter robot. They just put their laser on their pussy. They're like, come on. What? Wait, what, Whoa, I, we what? missed the beat. What I happened to I don't know if you're on my Oh, I thought we were. actual pussy or like cats? It's a thin line. Both. Whoa. What's happening? Everyone's uh, shooting everybody. You're a cat person. I do like cats, but I like, I like dogs too. What does that Whoa, mean? Well, why'd you have to bring dogs yeah. into this? I mean, I'm a like, big like, dog you like I did mojitos, rest... and you're like, I do like tequila as well. Because people get judgy. I rescued I a senior pit bull before. I'm better a than all of you. senior? How old is it? Old Gordon? What was it's it my husband. Seymour? <laughs> hey, married. No, I am Look married. Look at that ring. I'm Jesus married. Christ. Dude, who's your husband? Thank you. We have ADD, don't we? Yes, we all do. Um, who's, who's your husband? That boy making money. He's He's a comic. So he's not making money. He opens for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> he's my opener. Do you guys go on the road together? So he's a, yeah. hu he's a huge comedian in Ireland. Oh, I was gonna say that rock is yeah. He, that's just from like, like over the years you accumulate. The Ireland bread Ireland right there. He's forty seven. He's forty seven. Yeah, he's Good. an older man. He's tired. I love a tired man. Really? How's his tea? How's his tea? <sighs> his tea. He's originally a New Yorker, but at fourteen he went to oh, Ireland. I, hold on, I know this guy. Des Bishop. Yes. Yeah, that's my. I man. didn't know that was your husband. How do you know him? Uh, just from around. He was a I was, New York, was in comedian New York for like eight years. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's why I know your name. Yeah, yeah. New York, hey. New York. Hey. We out here that's hustling. That's why I have some tickets. fucking respect for you. You've been on the pizza. grind. Yeah. You've been on the grind. Oh yeah, dude, barking. In Jerked front of off on the D train. <laughs> Done it. <That> was <laughs> I my ate first a pigeon special. once. Yeah, you did. You did. No, I was just oh. saying what oh, people. You know what? Here, I have a question for you. As two New Yorkers, right? Whenever I go to like a big city for shows, I always feel the need to like open with a quick couple jokes about this city. Right. But then I heard, I was in LA, obviously, live here, and then somebody from out of town was doing LA jokes about LA, and I was like, eh, it's not really, that's yeah, not a good I, read on I, the I city. Don't, I don't like it. I don't like when people but, come to but, New York and say, hey man, I, I the think pizza is not even good. a small city, it's good. You want to yes, acknowledge, small, like, I see I you, Richmond, yes. I'm, I see, I was in Vermont, I was like, every old oh, man, say your like, dates. Bernie, say your dates. Bernie Sanders, and they're like, <laughs> And I'm like, that was my line. Maybe that's what it is. Small cities. Small cities want to feel like, like yeah, you just want a few more fucking vape shops in Asheville, North Carolina. And they're <laughs> Show like, the what dates. the fuck? But New York, you're not going to be like, oh, what's but up, I, fucking New York? We're like, yeah. You know why? You know why? Because New York already feels seen. Yes. LA already feels seen. Yes. Too oh. much seen. We're overexposed, honestly. Exactly. I didn't, I grew up in Brooklyn and I didn't realize so much was about New York. I thought everyone lived in their own kind of New York. Until I went to Florida at a right. tennis academy. Florida's its own Florida. And I, yeah, that's a whole other story. I was just I, there. I love it. I'm going back. I'm going I mean, to shout tomorrow. out to Florida. Sell tickets. I'm going to Miami. Um, I'm going to Miami too. When? Miami Improv. My, me too. Next week. You, me too. No, is anybody weeks, going to Florida Gulf Coast <laughs> University? Shout it out. That's where I'm going tonight. Oh, Are shit. you? I Are like you the college night? gig. It comes out Wednesday. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. But I was in Florida and I turned on the news and they would show the news. New York. It's just it's a window. News. Just look outside. <laughs> But yeah. like the, New York is just on TV. I'm like, why are they showing the New York shows when I'm in Florida? And then I realize, oh, everyone just watches like Good Day 
New York or like oh I understand Good Day America. Yeah, does New Florida York. have one? Good Day Florida. I can't believe it. it's just like it's no. a day Florida. <laughs> it's a yeah, day. it's just a guy. Uh, it's just a guy fucking a crocodile. No one wants to watch that. <laughs> but I think it's like I, it was so weird to hear like what somebody's LA perspective was because I was like that's like very broad. I my only so like, that's why I felt about when I my, did New York stuff. I was like oh I should not ever be like hey this the subway is crazy. <laughs> yeah. This guy was selling yeah. Spider Man <laughs> poems. When someone opens with a subway joke, yeah, attack I want to take it him behind an like, Exxon and assassinate his family. <laughs> Yeah, you just go full terrorist. Full. Yeah. Down. No, but, I'll waterboard you inside the D train. I hate it. Whoa, subway bit the D train. <laughs> Guys, I gotta go. I gotta but, go. But I didn't know that that's how I came off when I was in a big city, being like, "Yeah, this place is crazy." But the, the small cities love it. With small New York, with LA, I joke that like in New York, I Do love exposed one. brick. Do it. Okay, well, expose no, brick. No, 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 I'm saying. When you're on, <laughs> okay, no, um, when you're on stage. You're going to do it. I was, I was saying it's good to do a quick one coffee. on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Ready and boom. But the, it's funny, the New York, LA comedy, like I would do like finance bro jokes in New York and I was like, <laughs> and then you do it in LA and all the girls are silent. Nobody's like, jobs well, no. here. I'm like, you never got fucked over by a finance bro? They you don't never live piped here. down a Merrill Lynch intern? <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> you never got clocked in the back by a dude wearing Allbirds? <laughs> you never had in a, a Patagonia vest when he goes, it's a little what here. Here. You never got fingered by a Bloomberg intern that felt like Saw 3? It's yeah, fucking lit. You go. You've never been making love and in the middle be like, do you have a jewel charger? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real finance bro I, it, they're out there like, like the we don't have here. finance bros we have something worse we have influencers, influencers I know yeah, well, a lot of guys dangly earrings their their hair flips out from under their snap back your video are with they the cross worse? earring is so good yeah Thank who you. is worse are Let's... they worse well, I, think I, I think I'd ra- influencers? Yeah, I think I'd rather I think an influencer I think I'd rather be friends with an influencer versus like a finance bro yes just in no. terms of annoyance there, because there's a level of like uh, I'm above you from a finance bro. Then I don't really get from like an influ- obviously you influence. Obviously, influence are that. the most I'm above you. I don't. I, They're I, fucking I, cutting tables at TGI Fridays. You're like, <laughs> yo, I got 26k <laughs> on buying, bitch. Like, I think the influencer entitlement is. It's very hot. Yeah, because but the, but the, the finance bro- bros get treated by shit by all the people above them, but then they treat other people like shit because their guy above them treats Who's them like shit. Who's worse to date? To date. Finance bros. I, Comedians? I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Damn. I'm married to a I know you are. <laughs> Wait, um, do you open for him? Does he open for you? Well, Hey, you open for him in one way. If hey, <laughs> open Sexual it joke. Sex. Unless you guys are saving it for marriage, but they already are married. Look at the ring. I, I told him I was I would do anal with him when we got married. And then? and then the night of, I was like, okay, it's your night. And he's like, we can't do it on the wedding night. Like, that's fucking weird. And I was like, is it? Lost what your a chance. loser. Lost your chance. Like, I love you, man. You got to uh, keep him... Like wanting more, you know, you gotta. So you never yeah. done anal? I know I've done it, but no, not I'm with, him. with him. I did it once in the shower, and water's not lube. I'll tell you that right now. Shower anal. It was. That's I was young one. and dumb. Shower I was anal. young and dumb. It bled. It? Yeah. I love how someone just puked. And is everyone okay? <laughs> someone goes, this Bleh. guy. No, 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 no. He's, I, he's stupid lube. because Philly lost. He's so upset. I know. I acknowledged it and he like ignored me about it. Yeah, dude, yeah he's this, Jack's he crying. Tearing up. Go birds. He's doing enough. He's like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> but real? yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> anal uh uh blood. When how old are you? I think I was like 17. You're just like in the shower and you're like, yeah, showers and, like, so many holes. Up at a showers young age. are the worst. But dude. it doesn't no. Well, I hate showers. You're, you're sex. in with your it's own thoughts. Worst. It's a little warm in there. Shower sex is fucked up. And then the girls like it hot because we're related to Satan and guys. You guys, I don't know what kind of temperature no, I like you like. So hot. Mm. Well, you're kind of like, uh, a woman. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think my estrogen is probably higher than most. You just have really good skin. Can you Thank buy you? estrogen? Yes. <laughs> you're trying to get. Some. Let me tell you something. Do you go to Sprouts? I would. Hey, uh, there'd be less mass shootings if there was more estrogen around. Yeah, but there'd be There's... more crying. I'd rather people get shot than more tears. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, then just crying it. because of a commercial. Fuck no, him. I think having a wide range of emotions is better for the planet than dudes just punching walls because like... Better. Like this guy definitely punched a wall last of night. Of course. <laughs> a wall. But, let me tell you something. but you know what's better is he didn't call... Like he didn't have a whole fucking 19-hour conversation with his friends about how much he like... No, he's suppressing it and then in 10 years he's going to shoot up a mall. No. And he's going to land a wall. No, in 10 years we'll be at a Hooters being like, you don't know the 2023 Super Bowls are close. Closest I felt to my anal cavity being glazed over with the touch of a woman. <laughs> to some Hooters waitress that just wants to like get ever, her pay and leave. I mean, just you've done enough it. comedy clubs. You ever walk past like a Hooters at like a Mall of America recently? It is a dark. <laughs> it desolate. could be the brightest lit place ever, but it is so dark just internally. The Hooters tone, TikTok the though like has some Hooters good it, shit going on. I wonder why. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> that's, that's the middle ground is like millennials and Gen Z, they want to see tits, but it's just on their phone. But they don't want to be like, you want me to drive yes. to the Mall of America, find parking, go to the third story. That's where it is. Go to the third story, <laughs> walk to the Hooters and be like, yeah, table for one, please. Saying table for one at Hooters is that's crazy. That's so <laughs> sad. Table for just one? Go to the bar. True. <laughs> but it's going to be packed. Or, it's all packed. Oh, yeah. I like actually, I've never the bar. Been. I fucking hate it. I feel so, uh, I feel so, I feel seen in a very bad way. Yeah, I feel like, like the bartender's like clocking me all the time. Like, oh, she has yeah. no friends. And then the bartender starts to talk to me. Shut no, up. No, no, don't no, talk no, no. to me. So where you're from, I will shoot you in this mall. I don't like you. A lot of violence for yeah, me today. Well, I, I don't know, man. You're really I got a lot just of pissed up pushing the stereotype. I feel more so like, I'm like giving, they're like, can I get a drink and food? And the guy's like making a Manhattan. He's doing all this. He's like, you want me, a bartender, <laughs> to put in food? Yeah, let me just stop flaming this orange real quick. <laughs> Putting your medium rare. He's like muddling and shit. That's what I'm saying. Basil. It's like this guy's doing a whole goddamn circus with his yeah. hands, and then a, a normal waiter is like, "I can do this. That's my job." I wish I had the confidence and the energy of a bartender. Like they just look so disgusted by everyone around them, but you want them to love you so bad. Like that's what I want to put right. off into the world. Like I'm a people pleaser. Yeah. Like I'll be smiling and laughing. I wish I was a bartender energy, where like a I don't even make eye contact with people. Buddy, I was a bartender for like so long and I was so mean to everybody. Because you can. Cause Why is can. that? What are they going to- Because I am busy. Stop <laughs> yelling at me. I swear to God, I'll get you. Because the was- demand is so high, what are they going to do? Like knock at alcohol from him? Yeah. And also, dude, and how they, would you pick? But dude, they would, they, oh, I would like order it. I would get start from right and then go, and then go left and then, you know, just back and forth like oh, a goddamn old like typewriter. Nice tits. Well, I mean, <laughs> of course. Of course, if a lady comes up and she's like holding a napkin with her number on, I'm not gonna be like, eh, we have so fuck you. How do you feel when a guy has like a credit card or like a twenty dollars bill in his hands? Like, yeah, pick me. I hate it. I actually won't pick you because yeah. like, oh, what you're cool. I'm cool with twenty dollars. Who gives a shit? God damn. Today's podcast brought to you by Fume. Fume. Be smart. Don't start. Kick the habit. Put it out before it puts you out. All phrases we've heard hundreds of times, but we still continue to have bad habits to know why. Ed Sheeran, our sponsor fumes on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science Uh to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. Fume is not a vape, dude. It's a non-electric device designed to transform your negative habits instead of pods filled with, you know, potentially harmful chemicals like vape. Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon. Cinnamon. Four, yes, that's dude. my daughter's name. Oh God damn! For delicious natural flavors, uh, they have a new version too, and the model's snappy and tactile. They sent me one. It's yep. wood. It's got a magnet, so it clips right in. It so feels fun. good. It's so fun to it play feels, with. Yeah, yeah. yeah you and would, also, you know, I feel like I have better breath after it. Yeah, not gives, scientific. Uh oh, but it gives you a nice sensation. I was editing, and I. It, it's nice to have a thing. And I felt like that's what to that was. To keep your hands occupied. Yeah, hands yeah. occupied. Because you usually do like candy or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's nice. It's the easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one. Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. It's Fume's goal, actually, to make switching yep. easy and even more enjoyable. They have thousands of five-star reviews from people just like you who have successfully switched over from other solutions that didn't work. And you can head... That's a fun word. Uh oh. Head. You can head to tryfume.com and use promo code SOCKS to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the new version two of Fume to help start your positive habits. That's tryfume.com. Try fum.com. Use promo code SOCKS to save an additional 10% off your order today. God damn. Girls yeah. are saying they're getting the ick if a guy is trying to get the tension he can't, and then you have to be like, Step back. Oh yeah, I would not oh blow God. that man for sure. I totally <laughs> get that. But it, it makes That's, sense. I'm so scared of everything as an egg. I was talking to a girl the other day and she goes, I was on a beach with a man and a bee came by and he went, oh, and that was it. Well, that's an ick, dude. That was it. That's crazy. That's crazy. He's what? what are you supposed to be? You have the karate chop bit. But what are you supposed to see a bee and be like, try me, bitch, try me. <laughs> yes. Honey, fucking <laughs> Well, okay, here, dude, here's the thing. If you're getting scared by a bee, there's no way you're going to get protected when someone tries to, like, rob a Wells Fargo when you're inside. I yeah, they that. say, like, you if you jump into water holding your nose. I get that. Like, the, how are you going to defend this? me from a shark with one hand? This? Well, I can't defend you from a fucking shark. If you need Don't that Don't tell level me that, though. That's an ick. Madam, if you, need a, if you need someone to protect you from a shark, nobody. What am I, a dolphin? 
You know what I mean? Punch I, it in the face. Like YouTube it. That's what how, you do. How about this? How about this? In the you, water, you YouTube it. How do you defend shark? <laughs> oh, fuck. Y'all have YouTube Please playing with this ad. I'm sorry. The shark's like, what ad is this? That's uh, for his cocks. They're every ad on YouTube. So, okay. That's what I'm nervous is like every shit you don't even think is going like to be an ick is Picking up a penny is an ick. Yeah. You well, can't that pick is up change. Well, that's, that's poor people energy. <laughs> that's yeah, not that an ick. <laughs> If a man is picking up a penny, just expect to split the that check. That's the LA shit. <laughs> or, or yeah, I mean, what are you supposed to do? I only pick it up if it's heads up. Good luck. True. That's and really I'm sweet. Jewish. That's really sweet. Whoa. So what? I mean, but that's what I'm saying. It's like shit you don't even know what, about. Is what is it? What is an ick for you? What's um, one of them? Or, I mean, yeah, but what's one? And then what's one your husband does? You go like, <laughs> I guess I'll see past this. So okay, so we used to joke that an ick is like after sex, a guy just puts his shirt on. And then he looks like a little toddler and he's just like walking around with the bottom of his butt hanging out. For, yeah, someone, to, okay. for someone to finish Winnie fucking the poo. In a, You guys all got upset. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying. No. For, for Winnie someone, the Pooh, yeah. For no, someone I usually to put overalls on. <laughs> yeah. You ever put a poncho on You're about to paint fucking? the house now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laying it down. Put some hay in your Dude, mouth. For, yeah. some, for someone to put on a shirt after fucking is wild to me. I, I think that's just like, that just reads to me as like highly insecure. Mm. You just, you were just inside me for cold? three minutes. If you're cold, <laughs> I... Put on, put on the goddamn heat. I, I think you just. I love go you guys like, pretending you've never put a shirt on after sex. Right I now. haven't. You're like that's fucking crazy. If bro. I put on shorts, then a shirt, but just shorts. shirt first is weird. Yeah, you shorts should do shorts sure. first. Yeah, I put on boxer. I don't like walking around naked. I put on my boxer briefs first, and then I can walk around. When guys order California rolls. Interesting. Wow. What about that? Is see you, that's that what means I'm you don't go down on women. That's not true. <laughs> I do not find the correlation <laughs> on that. But what's the most roll you can get that's like, oh, this guy eats a fucking box. Sashimi. I want that sashimi all over your body. I want wow. you drowning in sashimi. Damn. That Toro? <laughs> a little bit of the fucking that's blue fan. But look, if you, so if you get a combo that accidentally has a California roll in it, I'll be fine. So you're relating just eating fish to eating box. I guarantee you there's a lot of dudes who hate fish but love pussy licking. Like a lot. It's it's just specific California rule. I'm not going to generalize. Right. Uh, here's the thing. I, well, if you're going to go to a sushi restaurant, because it seems like a vanilla choice. It's like riding a bike and putting on fucking training wheels. You're like, yo, right. you're 31. Why are we here? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But do you think it has anything? Is there other foods like that? If they go to Baskin Robbins and they get just vanilla, it's kind of like, oh, like sucking no dick tonight. It's kind of like <clears> a guy who who wants his steak like well done. Well, that's a that's a that's a serial killer. Yeah. yeah, you. That you man were, has inner demons. Yeah, yeah. That, that man has a, a dad who is far removed from the picture. <laughs> that man just finished watching <laughs> the fucking. Uh, uh, wait, look, uh, so uh, sweet. There's always a moment where the dad's like, "Son, it's time to eat some real cow now." Medium rare. It needs to be bloody. Yeah. What are blue? What's your uh, steak temperature order? Like medium. Um, the other one. Uh -oh. Ick. No. Ick. Medium no, rare. No. Medium rare. Medium rare. Okay, good. Medium rare. Okay, where, don't where turn this at? on me. Well, I, I'm fine. I'm, what, what do you think a guy's ick towards a woman should be? I try to battle. I think I try to battle a lot of those icks. Um, like farting. Um, I'm into it. Diarrhea. I'm into it. Um, it shaving. Shaving like is a big, So IBS is I'm not big. great at shaving. I, I'm Italian and Jewish, so it's like. Oh, it's a nightmare. It's a weed whacker. Wow. Yeah. But like. You take blurry photos. But that's. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a funny I did, joke. I'll show you. Thank you. We're like, I don't know. Well, that's my calf. Oh, I can't even see it's your calf, calf through the goddamn North Face. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't say that's an ick. I mean, an ick. That's like that's not. I, I'm looking for more like what's. I like a weird to challenge thing? a guy. Like I'm like, let's see if he really wants to fuck me. Like if you're not gonna okay. fuck me because I'm wearing granny panties, then it's not. No one's ever it. stopped fucking because someone was wearing. Granny see, panties. I'm very into granny panties. Interesting. Why? Full comfort. Well, I think because I was an athlete, it's right. like I wasn't, I didn't like thongs because it could like kind of get bacteria, whatever. I liked, I like to be, uh, I like to be thongs cupped. don't seem like they do a lot of uh, health beneficial. No. Yeah, I don't, just, I never understood it. I think it's kind of annoying. You always have a spoiler on a car. You're like, I get it. It's for good looks. But what even, are we doing yeah, here? Exactly. And I'm about performance, you know? Speed. Right. Yeah. Adrenaline. Ex endurance. <laughs> prime energy. <Heights. laughs> prime energy drink. I was, so I, I don't wear thongs. I, I, yeah, I never wear thongs. That's you, kind of my thing. How do you thing. feel about no underwear? I feel like then I'm flapping. Yeah, well, like, flapping. You're, yeah. You're, is yours flappy? I mean, like uneven. I wouldn't say like flappy. <laughs> uneven, uneven. So but uneven. <laughs> how do I ask without being rude? What does <laughs> uneven, is uneven so mean? <laughs> like, like a little... Like, um, like... They spent more... <laughs> oh my God, uneven is so... <laughs> Wait, what part is what? 
I don't know. I kind of confused myself. Yeah. Is, is oh my this G string or is this? Wait, I don't even have an OnlyFans. I'm giving you guys too much. No, thumbnail. Perfect. <laughs> it. Let's do it. Uneven. Like, as in. Like, it, the lips are uneven? It depends on their mood, though. Oh. It's, I don't look at it a lot, but like, it could be different depending on my positioning. Like, you have like symmetrical Saturdays where the, they all line up. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes. And then you have sloppy good. Sundays where shit looks like a fucking Yeah, they've been thing. through it, you Whoa, know? They've seen some Vietnam. stuff. Vietnam. Um, so, yeah, I think. I like to I like guys who've always embraced like the rawness of like a woman and isn't like you have to be perfectly right. done up all the way. Like they like how my sweat smells or they mm -hmm. like Gabe loves that. Nice. Couple yeah. of the f what is it, pheromones? Yeah. Hey. Well, let me let me ask you this. Don't you think that cause cause I, I totally feel you. I think there is a like a <laughs> like no no for real. I think you get to a point where then you can be like, all right, I love you and we've we've kind of got past this whole like Cinderella, I'm all I'm shaving, yes. blah, blah, blah. Then we get to a point where it's like, all right, man, I fart, I shave, blah, blah. I love that face. That's that means fun. she's comfortable with yeah, you. But I, I also like that. feel like it's how you carry yourself. Like sometimes if you're getting so done up for a dude, it's like, what are we hiding here? Yeah. Uh, what are we no, so no, afraid I, I feel of? That. You know? I feel that. I definitely feel that. So like sometimes I'm like, let me skip the phase of like me trying to pretend like I always wake up just like glowing. Yeah. And then when I do <laughs> put on some makeup, he's going to be like, Okay, am Lowly. I with the Sports M Illustrated? Yeah. What's going exactly. on? Jennifer Lopez. In the target, <laughs> Jesus if Christ. you go cold turkey one day, you just show up, nothing done up. You yeah. guys, what the fuck? I like start. I didn't order Postmates. Start <laughs> like a raw piece of chicken. Just start it raw and then yeah, and let then it air grow. fry a little bit. And then guys are weird though. I feel like guys who have really like loved me. Say it one more time. The guys who have loved me, yeah. like many, many men through the years. Whoa. I feel like flex on, huh? they, always, many men. they love that uneven shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remix. Many men, instead of wish death on me, wish sex on me. Yes. 50 cent. I'm weird out here, bitch. Wow. Many men. Many men. Who fall in love with you. Many men. New York. They, um, I could do the backtrack if you need. We do. What was that? Oh, yeah. So they, they always like didn't like when i put too much makeup on like i put like red lipstick on they're like you look like a clown like they really fell in love Who with these men i love look. the i love the natural look i love when women just literally put on like lip gloss and like um like what is this when you make your mascara? eyebrows mascara? thank you mascara like but that's then some, it but then it. i would I love argue doesn't know what mascara is. <laughs> No, that's actually hot if a guy doesn't know what mascara is it's like he's just really? so manly do you like a fixer-upper do you want a, just a dumb no, guy? No, that's too much admin. Yeah. I'm like, I'm busy. I'm not a babysitter. I barely have my shit together. I don't, Come I'm not taking up. on a project. No, okay. that's yeah. why I have an older man. He is established. He has his own routines. He doesn't need me involved in anything. Good. Uh, fix someone or can't to then leave no, me no. and then be good for someone else? Absolutely fucking not. I'm not uh, part of that multi-level marketing scheme. I'm I'm you. <laughs> you could be. Do you want to? <laughs> Yo, have you ever heard of cut code knives? <laughs> you yourself could drive a BMW Model 3, 328. Sarah, she was like you three years ago, and look yeah. at her yeah. now. And with one now of those knives, you can make your shit even. <laughs> Boom. Call back. <laughs> Circumcision. Oh my God. Do um, girls get circumcised? Can you they? could get a labiaplasty. Whoa. You could Please get explain. It. Huh? You could basically, I could go in and be like, I want it. I want to have nothing coming out. I want it to be cut. And it's purely what for if aesthetics. Want, what if you want the opposite? What if you want your shit looking prolapsed as so fuck? Maybe we should start something where girlies who have extra labia can they donate. Want more. Yeah. It's like a BBL for labia. Labia for love. Love. Yeah. Love. Labia love. for love. <laughs> love. <laughs> I love it. That's fucking labia great. Labia for love. Do labia you guys for love. Lots like, of love. They cut your hair and you donate it. Do you guys, it. Yeah. what's your opinion on labias? Um, I... You know, a preference? I've never met her, but she sounds like a great lady. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm all about it. You know, I like when there's some... Uh, Meat? You know, it's like... It's, a it's, it's like a French onion soup. You're like, God, mm. it's overflowing with joy. Mm -hmm, did mm -hmm. I just compare a vagina to French well, onion I soup? Yes, you did. Yes. It's kind of... Have you ever had a French onion soup? It's so, so good. <laughs> I came late in me in life. I literally <laughs> just had one like a week ago. There's so much cheese. There's excess. Oh, it's yeah. good. When it's just straight like, bing, I'm like, what? How do I... Do I get my debit card? Ding, ding. You could. Yeah. I mean, Switch. I would... Chip reader, square reader. <laughs> we should do a podcast together. Read my labia. <laughs> I didn't understand the last four minutes, but I'm obsessed with that. I don't <laughs> understand my do we, podcast. And then girls are bleaching their buttholes. Love it. Have you ever... Okay, that was very LA of you. Have you ever... I <laughs> Whoa. He has bleached hair. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, you think so look you're saying if, if, you're, if you're about to go lick a girl's oh, butthole a and no, she no. has dark... Don't care. I also thought bleaching your butthole was bleaching your butthole hair because I'm Italian. Right. Apparently it's not. No, no, it's shaving. It's just the uh, it's just the actual hole. It's the skin. The skin. Yeah. So people have like dark skin. Yep. They? 
Yep. It just looks like a but you're like not an gonna, eggplant emoji sometimes. You're not going to mm. not oh, I will hook up lick with the a girl. Fuck out of, I don't care what it looks like. So should girls bleach it? Um, Here's the thing. If you say, will the darkness uh let me not do it? No, I'll do it. But if it's bleached, I'll like it more. But it's not. It's not going to. It's, it's not like, going to detract. If you're doing OnlyFans and you're showing your asshole right. to all of Australia, you might be like, hey, "Let me lighten it up." Yeah. Or you know, Photoshop. Yeah. 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 I'm a big. Uh, but, but but. I love how business wise you put that. Photoshop. You know. <laughs> oh, well, I'm saying, like, do you want to go to a random guy in Glendale and be like, "You can bleach this, right?" <laughs> or do you just pay some USC kid who knows Photoshop a little bit? And you go, can you touch this up a little bit? Yeah, can, it is easier. Can you just lower the saturation? It's He'll a little bit. He'll pay red. you to Photoshop. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, wild. I, I have a buddy who films a lot of, like, comedians recently just filmed an OnlyFans chick. And she was just like, hey. Was she doing stand-up? She was standing on something. <laughs> Cock. Vibrator. Okay. But it, you know, and he was like, he's like, yeah, you know, it's interesting going from, like, getting these cinematic shots, these angles, and this lighting, and. You want to make it look the best. And he didn't show me anything because he's a respectful man and he follows a good NDA, I would imagine. Here we go. But it is very interesting to, you know, you can make it look cinematic. So if you're coming in hot with the Sony 8K, you might go, let me bleach a little yeah. just to balance, you know, for white balance. I'm just envisioning like slow-mo labia flapping. And I think that could be iconic. It's very American. I think so. The yeah, most, that's, back that's, of that's very American. It's, it's very American. <laughs> oh, you have a yeah. go... And he's like, oh, like shit. Like the birds, like Philly. Go oh, birds. Go birds. <laughs> go they birds. Lost, dude. They fucking lost. Did they still Jack. riot or no? Yeah, they were partying. Well, did they I feel like they rioted whoa. before the, it started. They were like flipping cars. Yeah, like, dude, a normal Philly, day, Philly really? will flip a police no, car just... on a Wednesday. They don't give <laughs> yeah. a shit. That's the sound. Whoa, it's close. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a shit. Dude. Where's the hoogies? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you uh, were saying something to me before bleach? we. I was too. Oh, the the, the, the labia good... preference. Oh. I I have like preferences, but it's not gonna it's not gonna stop me. Like if you have a more flappy vagina, it's not gonna stop. I'm not gonna like good gross and back away. Mm -hmm. But I do. If I had a preference, I kind of like like a tabletop vagina where everything's nah. everything's in there and everything's nightly. Tucked. I like my shit to look like a Cantor sandwich. You're lying. <laughs> you want to? I'm look not. You want a canter sandwich? A little bit, yeah. I love it. No, it, I mean, you know what? You know I it's like that? More, you know, it's more, you know what you he, like. Hear me out. Give it to me. This is not a great take. It is. But it feels like when you get bumpers at the bowling alley, it guides mm. nicely. Oh, Everything wow. Everything goes into one spot. Wow. Because before, it's just straight, boom, you know, it's just clean. Oh, yeah, he's saying sense. that he'll accidentally like hit the thigh yeah. if yeah. it's it not guides. there to guide him, yeah. which it, it happens to the best of us. Put the bumpers up. It's easier to get in. <laughs> You're my like, kids that's can my knee, but thank you. But why does it happen? You just start, you just put the tip of the you tip of your cock from like the, the top of it and then slowly go down until whoa, it goes whoa, in. Whoa, 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 What is this? Sex? <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers be like, oh, I always miss. I know. Whoa, How whoa, do you whoa. miss? What is sex? Whoa, <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, How do you whoa. miss? You start from the top, slowly go down, and then when it when the when the fucking tip goes in, you're in. Motherfuckers always be but like But you know, you know when you're like riding sometimes, and this is probably we're all white here. When you're riding and you kind of you lose cut that. You lose, <laughs> you lose rhythm and you're kind of like, is it me or is it him? Yes. And yes, then you're like, okay, yes. let's. I'm gonna take control and one and two and one yeah, and you're yeah. like, and nope, yep. you're not. And, like the, and then the dick swimming. falls out and you snap it. That's where you oh, have to keep. The snap is awful. The dick snappage happens. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Because then everyone's like, are you okay? And like <laughs> with so much pain in your heart, you're like, oh yeah, we're good. Keep going. But I will say the Spend dude, the dude. Time waiting. Sarah McLaughlin, come on the podcast. She we'll could. Say. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say that the dude that was scared of a bee would cry in that moment. <laughs> he was. Does it hurt? Or did you just teams. get scared? I've never had a full snap, but I've had I've had people make so their dick look like, look like an Allen wrench. I, it looks fucking terrible. <laughs> it's like terrible. that kid that How? falls. And like it didn't actually hurt himself, and he's yep. looking at you, and he's like, ah. and you're like, like you're okay, you're okay. Clip. Yeah, dude. Anytime my nephew falls, I go, you're good, you're good, you're good. And then he looks at me, and he goes, well, I guess I am good. The fucking. The, but he like, wants to cry. And he's like, that could have been yeah. really bad. But I feel like that's gonna be me in the future. I'm so scared of a girl having an ick for that. I'm just gonna be like, it feels great, keep going. But I do have to say, an ick is like. You never really like a guy and get an ick. Correct. An ick is like first second date where you're like something about him. Oh yeah, I don't like how he eats spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah, but Sums but I off. think but you're right. It just means you just don't like the guy as a whole. Like if these little things, you're like, oh, I hate how he says Wednesday. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yes. You just don't like him at, at he first says, ever. He says sandwich like sandwich. Ooh. Oh fuck that! Actually, I'm out. Caramel <laughs> sandwich. You know almond. What I hate? You know that's what I hate? a big one. The L. On the almond. almond? Yeah. That's that turns me off. Let almond? me ask you this. 
why do people say Thanksgiving differently? People go thanks. I've said this before. People go Thanksgiving and then people go Thanksgiving. You know what's How funny? Do you, say it? you just said it the same way. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Everybody, close your eyes. Ready? One time. Ready? Okay. So this is one way. And if you're listening at home, this, close your eyes. This is one way. <laughs> this is one way. Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving. Okay, it's the same thing. It's not. I think you meant to take, say take, Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're not doing anything. Different it's okay because someone the other day said Valentine's Day. Oh, oh no. everyone says that. It <laughs> kills me. It they kills me. They sell <laughs> chocolates under a bridge. Valent, y'all ready for Valentine's Day, <laughs> dude? A lot of people say Valentine's Day. It kills me. That's the ick. That'll give it. What to do you? Me. What's your stance on Valentine's Day? <laughs> We're going to do politics. Um, Hilarious. Valentine's Day or Valentine's yeah. Day? Uh, Valentine's Day. Let's start. There. It's funny because my husband he was called me. That was Chugi that I have a husband. But anyway. He called me and Why he was, was like, Why was that have a husband? It's okay. People get married at 19. True. Amish. True. Okay. <laughs> he was like, we don't really need to, like, you don't, like, you yeah. chill, like, you don't. And I was like, yeah, I'm cool. Like, I don't need Valentine's. Uh-oh. But like. Deep down. Yeah. But let's be honest. Like, he's, I'm here touring. He's in Vancouver waiting me to go to Vancouver because I have shows yeah. there. And then he's going to take go. me skiing. Mm-hmm. Talk well, like a Geico. Wasn't uh, a sentence so, like, at all. man. Yeah. We have shit. Like, it's fine. Would it be cool if he... Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's why you guys are so challenging because that's how you really feel. You really, you just want him to actually execute Valentine's Day, but you want to be like, oh, I don't care. But no one's going to get mad if I came back to my hotel and there was like a flower from him. I'd be like, that was really fun. Do you think think he's setting the bar low that we shout his expectations? Uh, I think we went really hard in the beginning because we were like obsessed with each other. And now we're like, do we have anything left? You know, Mm. like it was like a COVID relationship. Like I did like a scavenger... Like two weeks. I did like a scavenger hunt for all these different days. Like all these different gifts. Because we were we were living to, we got engaged in six months during COVID. Like I met him during COVID. So it's like dog years. It's like time seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's COVID super intense. Yeah. And now we're like, I'm you guys busy, are thinking he's about busy. Getting a swamp house in Florida. You guys are moving in together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Retiring, throwing in the But now then the world opened and like I was like, Oh shit, I'm a comedian, you're a comedian. Yeah. We we're not those people that just like woke up every day and like watch TV and cuddled the whole time. But it's good because I'm an independent person. He's independent. I have my own apartment next to his. That's so such a good idea. Like he had an apartment and then the woman died next door. I don't know how I swear. Have and you seen her? She ghost. I think she's a friendly ghost. What does that mean? Like, she, like turns her cure on in the morning for you. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Get out your bitch. Yeah. yeah. You know, like she opens you the windows it, when it's a little, Woo! you know, hot in there. Yeah. I think she was a friendly ghost. Oh, good. Why had she die? Suicide? I killed her. Oh, good. Because um, you needed the apartment. Yeah. Got it. So she died, and then I got the apartment next door. So we have it. Literally next door? Literally next door, like, touching. So I think we're going to take the wall down, but that's a lot of admin. So we've been procrastinating. So now I'll just be like, I'm going to go in the other apartment. How often do you sleep? Together versus sleep apart. We sleep together, but I more fall asleep on the couch. In your apartment or his apartment? I like to call it our apartment Word. and my apartment. Got it. So apartment A, apartment B. Our apartment, my apartment. Are you apartment. taking his last oh, name? Okay, I, got it. I didn't. Because I changed my Instagram handle twice. I'm not changing it yeah, again. That's yeah, modern no. day love. You gotta look, it's not I me, was it's like, Instagram. Babe, are you trying to you gotta talk to sabotage Zuckerberg. my career? Yeah. Hannah Burner? God damn. Hello Fresh! Whoa! Guess what? who's knocking? It's Hello Fresh. It's America's number one meal kit. You get farm fresh, pre-proportioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Dude, remember those New Year's goals you promised yourself you'd stick to? Hello Fresh is here yeah. to help you eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your freaking door, dude. Taking the hassle out of dinner time. I hate cooking. Trev hates cooking. Hate Bake it. on the grocery store. Beep all that, okay? Beep it all to heck. You know, yeah. they send you the, they send you all the pre, uh, you know, pre portion. Thank you. That's what the word I wanted yeah, to say. Because I don't even have measuring cups in my nope. house. Who does? Most people. Who am I? Martha Stewart? Could be. With HelloFresh. Yep. But dude, they send it to you. It's literally just like putting it together, like the easiest puzzle. It's like, boom, boom, boom. It's already there. You don't kind of measure. You don't kind of do the thing where you scrape the flour off the top. You get it on the counter. Your mom's like, is that drugs? And you're like, no, mom, it's HelloFresh. Hey, mom. You know what's also fresh? The freaking promo code we got. Guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Sox65 and use code Sox65 for 65% off plus free shipping. What, dude? That's 65. a great deal. It's let's, let, let's step out of yes. Adland real yep, quick. Yep. That's a phenomenal deal. Use promo code Sox65 at HelloFresh.com for 65% off and free shipping. But also, as we always say with these HelloFresh ads, it's great for freaking date night because, I don't know, 
Everyone's like, eh, let's go to freaking five star restaurant. No, I don't want to spend two thousand dollars for crap service. Okay, I yeah. want to make amazing stuff in the house. It's also fun activity. Bolognese. <laughs> yup. <laughs> So go to HelloFresh.com slash Sox65 and use code Sox65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Okay. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. God damn. By the way, I was looking at your social media course. I need to work on my brand voice and I think I need to buy it. Do it. There's some good course. stuff in there. Yeah, I, I, dude, you went hard. I was looking at all the classes. That was a that was a, a COVID project that uh, I worked on with John, my uh, editor and videographer. That's we, we, fucking we just, amazing. We shout out to this guy Kev on stage. He gave me the idea for it. But it was like it's just everything starts finished. I don't hide anything of like what I do and what I don't do. It's like this is I could update it a little bit because now it's like there's different formats and yeah. this was heavy like just horizontal videos. But like now everything's just like vertical. Like well, everything also, is vertical. I hate these like life coaches or like relationship coaches who are like single or like these entrepreneurs who have like Broke. maybe a million dollars. Yeah. Whoa. Because from their dad and like or mom or mom oh, or mom. Oh, I was gonna I'm go there. <laughs> But like, you're actually someone who is proven and done it. And like, you know, what on the ground level, like people explaining TikTok to me who don't have their own TikTok That's pages. Where I get it, I'm like, I'm on the ground floor here. Yeah. What what kills me is when you scroll on TikTok and people are like, this is how, this is how you break the algorithm. And you press on their page. You and have, have 10K. Right. <laughs> this is how I take my client from 10,000 views to 12,000 views. Yeah. But so I, I respect that a lot in terms of, and also people probably ask you all the time for how do you start a podcast, all these little yeah. things. So you just got it right there and it's affordable. Swipe up. Thank you Swipe so much. Swipe up, dude, for Just, real. Yeah. Yeah, yes. he, he took out a, a billboard, which was the the billboard was so Hit goddamn funny, it. dude. Because it was like it was like uh, what's it, guerrilla marketing, where it's like indirect marketing. It was yes. like you're not broke, you're just poor, and it was a photo of like me doing this, and then the website was youbroke.com. Because then people would be like, "What the fuck <laughs> yeah, is yeah, this?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go to it, and it just goes my master class. That's so good. And also in LA, I feel like everyone's driving, so like people actually see the yeah. billboards. Yeah, they told me the amount of like impressions that it was like seen. Like it was on like Reddit. People are just like Snapchatting and sending it to me, and that's kind of why I did it because then people. Post post about it and then you can share their posts because the last thing like stand-up flyers don't do well no, there's no engagement there's no to be like wow what a funny lineup oh there's a joke in there so you have to find ways to get more creative with it mm -hmm. that's why like a lot of people do like you like photoshop yourself into what's big in that city now i'm on that yeah. or you find a way to just like add a, a fun i've seen a few people do this so big like, people in uh fucking philly Sad topic. People in Philly be like, <laughs> and then they do his wrist right now. <laughs> yeah, with a fucking bird scooter. But then they <laughs> go birds. But then they'll post like a 10 second video, be like, or like a minute video of like Philly jokes. And then at the end, they plug their dates. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, there's well, yeah, people don't like to... being told what to do. And they also don't like to feel like you're just taking from them all the time. Right. Right. So it's like you provide content. And if you they feel like they stumbled upon it on their own, yeah. it's like dating a guy, make it think it was his idea. Ooh. Whoa! What do you mean? What you guys part? wouldn't get it. Whoa! Well, well, inform Ick. us. We have listeners. <laughs> Hell, hella. Wait, so, like yeah, that's like indirect it was marketing. Our idea I don't like to that start shit. Dating? What? It was our idea to start dating. <laughs> yeah. It's never. I it's always a girl being like. So, so like, what are we? Anytime a girl says so, just run out the room. No. <laughs> so leave. <laughs> she just says so. Leave. What? Any? Yeah. What or so? Are leave. We? So I was thinking. So I, so I was thinking that those are the worst four words. Whatever the but fuck. But this is the thing. If I feel like if you have to ask a dude that, he's not it, and she's really? not it for you. Like, so I had this idea. My parents got engaged in like four months. Also, I had an idea that when I met the right person, it was gonna be like game over and instantaneous. Instantaneous. Right, so I'd be with a guy for like a year, and I'm like, he's on it. Like, he's not uh. it. And I mean, this guy, like, it was. But again, he's old. He doesn't have a lot of time left. It was like Hilarious. a week. No, but it was a weekend and he was kind of like. Shout out that Will money. He's seen, he's seen like, he's had his relationship. He knows what he wants. He knows what yeah. Like. He's seen the dinosaurs. He yeah. knows what he's into. He texts you on using a fax machine. This guy's old as shit. He's seen it all. But like. He's like, COVID, I remember polio. <laughs> God Change damn. my pantaloons. <laughs> He's not that old. No, he's not. Well, how does he feel when every time you he's go to podcast, like, this man is old. He's also like the hottest dude. He like, is most hot like, as fuck. Oh, dude, so please, good, like, if, if you can, if you can bring him up. Des Bishop. Bishop. He, does like, he honestly, use bro, a lot of ointments? Has no, I mean, oh, like, I joke old. that he's like, like some people, some young guys snort cocaine. He snorts Advil. Um, oh, what a no, look at this guy. Silver look at this guy. Look at yeah, this guy. He's a you wouldn't man. fuck him I love immediately. How he, your producer knew the hot photo to click of on. Of course. Yeah. 
Because he, Gabe, he's our a very producer, like guys is guy. Hot. Like other dudes can like. Whoa, top left. Yeah. Hannah Burner on boyfriend. Dun dun dun. <laughs> wow, he's dude. He's so hot. It's crazy. Um. Yeah, that was. COVID. Oh, you were on a reality show. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Summer I, House. I what did that for that? three years. Three years you were on the show. Yeah, that's why I have gray hair. Whoa. Well, what? Uh, <laughs> so I, speaking I, of what? snorting cocaine. <laughs> Uh, what, sh- what show was it? Summer House. So I was like working for Betches. They were one of those. Yes. Yes, so my first job in comedy was like writing. They pay me like $2 a tweet or a meme. Okay. So I was like, okay. So Whoa. I was doing like 80, 80 tweets a meme. Like, it, was like, like, it was like a joke writing boot camp for me in right. like millennial Great. girl humor. Just like. Yeah. I remember I did some podcasts on there one time. Yeah. They have like a great media thing. company. And then I guess so I, I had interviews. <laughs> That, I, that's what my feeling was. But let I was like, me be political go. for a second. <laughs> so I was like interviewing people there, and I started to. They wouldn't post my tweets on their page, but I started posting my own tweets because I realized my own sense of humor was a little different. Yeah. And then pages like Insta Single and all of them yeah. started. And I started a full like you would like you know like you start sending it out to your people, and they would repost it. Yeah. And it was yeah, kind I of did this social meme media community. for a company for like three and a half years, and like I would never post my own stuff, but every once in a while they'd be like. Oh, yo, that video you had on Monday was pretty funny. I'd be like, y'all want it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what happened is I kind of got to the point where like, and, and I was making little sketches for them, but it was getting weird because people were recognizing me as like the face of it in terms of some of their videos. Right. And I was ready to like go with them. I was like, let's make this like bar stool. Like let's, yeah, I'll be yeah. a, a talent for you guys. But um, then Bravo, like a guy DM me and was like, would you party in the Hamptons and we'd show like what you do during the week? And I was 26 and single and I was like, yeah. 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 And then I got fired from Benjamin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Why? Why? Um, or how? It, they said it was like some like logistical stuff. Like I, I used you a ring. I used a ring light for a personal thing. And I was like, they're so entire. Like I loved that company. But I, I, I understood wow. what they were saying. They're saying right. this isn't right. a fit anymore. Got it, got it. And then... um. But like honestly, I love getting fired. It's very empowering. It for it's like breakups. Like it forces you to yeah. do new shit. Yeah. And then on summer house, pottery and shit the next day. <laughs> I'm fucking doing Throwing basket weaving. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. I don't I'm on the that. subway, just eating more pigeons. Just like <laughs> we can, we can get through this. Oh yeah, a lot of motivational <laughs> podcasts. Dude, I will buy like twenty self help books on Amazon. Never have opened one. But we that's self help. That- understanding that you need self help. Yeah. That's the first step, dude. I, I fuck with self-help books. Yeah. I love them. I've never read them. I got them. the Calm really? app. Do I touch it? Sometimes. I look at it and I said, if I, it's like that having a Xanax in your bag. You're like, if I need you, I'll open you up. Yeah. But you feel better because you got Emotional it. And when people come to your apartment, book. they must be thinking like, she's- This bitch crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, dude. If I, if, if I, if I- She wa- has some demons. <laughs> if I walk into a girl's apartment and there's too many pillows and too many candles and then a bunch of self-help books, you don't have a father, one. Two- oh, But the sex is going to be- It's going to be bananas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No condom. First night, just sticking her face out. You know where to put it. By the way, I know a lot of guys listen to this pod. I just want to make a point. When you ask a girl if she's on the pill, that is a loaded question. Really? It's loaded with cum. Like, like girls, like when you're on the pill, like I'll miss three days. I'll take seven. Like I'll like, we are crazy. Like, do you? I can't even send a text back to my best friend. You think I'm taking a pill every morning at the same time to make ah. sure my like you guys are freaked out right no, now. I'm but not I, at all. I just want guys I never, to I understand. never come in. I don't really mind. Having a prescription for birth control is one thing, but like right. for it to work, she has to take it every single morning. Right. And that's why like pregnancies happen. So just keep an eye out for the girlies. Like I'll do I'll talk on stage about birth control, the amount of like everyone's dying laughing because you miss some days. And then you like try to catch up and like you yeah, can't that's, overdose. That's I why tried. you gotta throw the, what, throw the copper birth thing. Birth control, in. you can't overdose. 100%? 100%. It's what happens when you take too much. Just. It's just like, you know what? I'm not a fucking doctor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Loaded question. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, so I got fired and then I realized I'm going to be on this talk, on this reality show, which is obviously like oversimplified and they have like, you know, they're. F- storylines and i thought if people liked me and they want more i'll start a podcast where i could have my own people like get to know me so i started burning in hell which is like a mental health comedy pod and then i was like i was i knew comics from betches i dated comics and then i was asked to do a live podcast show at caroline's and my friend was like i dare you to take your tweets 
and do 10 minutes of stand up. And like, I was oh. dumb. Like, I didn't know you should like maybe start with two, yeah. maybe yeah. like open mic with five. And, but it was like 300 of my fans. And I just went out there and I was like, I'm a star. Yeah. And then people were like, our favorite part was the stand up. Oh, Not, that's and I great. Was, and then my New York City comedian friends like cornered me and they're like, if you really want to do this, you got to be on the fucking grind. Like, we'll support you, but you got to do it right. Yeah. You got to fucking hate yourself and you got to bomb in basements. And I'm like, I'm down. Like, I'm halfway there. Mm -hmm. And then I got fired from something else. <laughs> oh, Why did you get Damn. fired from that? Well, I got married and I also like. And they're like, what? They were like, yeah. we don't want some. Damn, old they maid hit you with that leonardo shit yeah. yeah and i also like our last the first two seasons were so fun so great the last season we were locked in a house with covid i was like fighting with some dude yeah and i was like it just wasn't and this was on stressful. bravo on bravo and the, but yeah i got fired and then um and then i honestly started posting on tiktok because i was like i feel like i felt kind of misunderstood after like a reality show and then Instagram is so like superficial. So TikTok, right. I just started posting my shit. Yeah. And then it it's doing well and I kind of started to find my own like creativity with it. Yeah. How do you how long have you been doing standard for? Like four or five years. Four years. How do you how do you feel? I feel good. Like I feel like yeah. it's like kind of I used to I used to be a tennis player and I had a lot of like performance anxiety. Right. Like I was really talented, but I would like always be in my head. I always was like aware of everything. Like I felt like I had the brain of like I had the physicalness of a mm -hmm. professional athlete, but my brain was like a comedian. Well, dude, especially I mean, tennis players, dude. Like your brain you have to is be a brain robot. is like ninety percent of it. Yeah, it's yeah. they say the core is six inches from ear to ear, and it's true. Like, yeah, <laughs> write that down. It's is you psych big? yourself out. I only got four inches. So <laughs> max, max. So then, with stand up, I felt like. I remember going, I was like, I wonder if I'm going to have performance anxiety like right. I do with sports sometimes. But I went on stage and I just felt like I was talking to my friends. I didn't feel like there was a winning and losing to it. I really felt like I was, it was oh, an cool. art. Like, and even when I, it's not, something doesn't go well, I'm like, you got better. Like I have, I coach myself how I wish I was coached as a kid. Right. Which is kind of deep. Mm. But like stand up and tennis is kind of similar too, where like you're on the road every weekend, you're playing alone. Like tennis is the one sport you'll see people just like go nuts yeah. alone like i can't call time out i can't pass the ball so um stand up i feel like was actually kind of a a good transition for me mm -hmm. where i feel like i'm still not tennis is entrepreneurial i feel like i'm entrepreneurial now yeah and yeah, really i'm really stage enjoying presence it from the videos i've seen it feels oh, very like you. natural and it feels very like and especially being like conversation kind of ish i mean ish new ish no yeah, I'm, I mean? yeah I'm definitely green and but i also think similar to you is i have the experience of like the marketing and the writing right. from my past right. and i know how to edit videos like i yeah. was a video editor so like you combine that with the stand-up next thing you know yeah. like i love posting clips and yeah. like and then i'll help my comedy friends who like can't do that shit <laughs> right. and they're so fucking funny and then you're like okay like like i'll cut some stuff for you and that yeah. kind of thing so that's why I do like connect with you guys in the way that you have. Well, you entered with like kind of a Swiss Army knife approach. You're like, I can do everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, I come from this. I can do that. I can edit. I can shoot. And I'm funny. And I could cut my labia if I choose to. You're not going to, dude. You don't need to. Wow. That was so empowering. Thank you. 2023. Thank you. Get an uneven pussy. Who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It also reminds me, though, of like uncircumcised dicks. Are you guys circumcised? Circumcised. Yeah. I got that fade. <laughs> yeah, I went to Floyd's on Melrose. <laughs> they cut my shit. I use up. a fucking ring light. Yeah. Valentine's Day. I got Valentine's. that shit. <laughs> yeah, I got a two in the front. Well, it's really all two, but yeah, no. But I sometimes got guys with more stuff going on, as a girl, at first you're like, whoa, like it's an anteater. And then you realize like he has more nerves and Stimuli. stuff. Stimuli. Yeah. yeah. yeah why you can put stuff in there like Skittles or something. So when Wait, she goes could, down on yeah, you, you can save it. stuff for later. Yeah. Why did they cut it? They say it's kind of like not consensual. Yo, I was a I mean, baby. So yeah, I'm touching my dick. Nobody <laughs> asked me. No, what the fuck? Nobody, literally Dr. zero Goldstein, people asked me. No one asked, or they did, and you were, you tried to explain it, but you couldn't speak English yet. That's because I was whiny, honestly, whiny. Yeah, I mean, you should wait until I'm like ten. Yeah, like, like you'll never know what it feels like for a girl to just slurp the tip of your. What is it even called? Cock. Cock. Oh, the, the tip of it? Whoa. The mm -hmm. foreskin? The foreskin, thank yeah. you. Wow, I love how formal he was with that. I will say, that's, though, that's I will gay. say so many people <laughs> that have... Straight shooter. So many people that have foreskin say that there's... It feels way better because when you get the foreskin off, you lose, like, nerve endings. Mm -hmm. So it actually feels so much better. And when you have foreskin, it's kind of like having a flashlight around your cock all the time. 
So you don't even need lotion or baby oil to jerk You've off. You thought about this? Of course I have. You go on a mega bus, you fucking just jack off, no problem. Mega also, hand job, like you just you fucking go like this. You don't need it. I'm saying, yeah, it's like those little toys you had in uh, like elementary school with the yep. water tubes in it. <laughs> oh my it's god, those were so fun. <laughs> those were so fun. sexual. Now that yeah. you think about it, oh, yeah. it was definitely sexual. They know what they were doing. Those. <laughs> they know what they were doing. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, sorry, Mrs. <laughs> so I definitely put my dick in one of those. Anyone else? Of course. Oh no, actually I haven't. I didn't. My buddy, we caught my buddy on Prime overnight one. Let's do it. My buddy. Uh, why am I going to say his name? That's crazy. <clears throat> but in, when we were like maybe like juniors, he like came into school and was oh. like, guess what I did? And he just told us, cool, man. We just were open about jerking off. Now you're fucking toys. Yeah. You How do you feel about slippery slope? I, you know, you I'm like you're good. You're a D1 athlete. You know, look, you I'm going to tell you, I have the right, like, I know how to hold a, a tennis racket. I have kind of nubby hands, large palms. Good palm. Okay, good palm. Solid palm. Good. Yeah. Warm palm. Uh, yeah, a little yeah. like yeah. So, yeah. but I palm I like to, I like to perform. <laughs> <laughs> I like to perform well. Good. I'm like I want t top tier d division one performance. Yeah, yeah. I'm I don't want to compete with you. Right. Like I know you're better at it, so oh, I'm like let's just do a blowjob. You know, like right. why would I? I want to make better what I'm already good at. Yeah. I want to put my energy towards what I'm naturally good at and not not go to like I understand improving your weaknesses, but like that's a losing battle. Not also, really. no guys. God damn. Listen, dude, in a landscape where free and fast shipping is the norm, it can be hard for a smaller e-commerce business to compete. Dude, keep yourself competitive with ShipStation. Dude, when you use ShipStation, you can lower shipping costs and make returns easy and keep your customers H-A-P-P-Y. That spells happy. Dude, we use ShipStation where on our merch drops. Everywhere. Dude, it is so freaking hard to have competitive shipping rates. We ship merch all over the freaking U.S., London, Australia, and we cannot get better shipping rates than when we use ShipStation. They have a great dashboard. It makes everything convenient. It's an incredible service that you should use because we use it, okay? It also integrates with the biggest of storefronts. You yeah, know, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Whoa. And it's just one simple dashboard. Super easy to use. Yeah, dude. So keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation. Use promo code SOCKS today at ShipStation.com to sign up for your free 60-day trial. Bruh, what did I say? I said free 60 day trial. That's incredible. That is shipstation.com promo code socks. God damn. So you love a hand job, buddy. This boy I, is let me far I'm, I'm off from what's right. Such <laughs> <a> <laughs> That's the name no, of my no, bio. No, no. Far no. off from what's right. <laughs> no, I mean, Michael just has different things that he prefers. I mean, everybody who. <laughs> we don't his yuck his yum. Thank you. But you suck his cum. The Trevor Waters <laughs> experience. No, I mean, but like, just because he likes what I don't like doesn't mean he's wrong. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, he likes and a good you, hand job and likes a good foot job. if you were communicative about it, then yeah. she should be all about it. Buddy, I love a good fucking hand job. So if you were a tennis player, dude, you give me like a two-hand backhand. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. That's fucking into oh. it. Oh. I just, yeah, it's oh. like, you want to turn the other person on if that's what you're into. And it's hot to think that someone else's hand is doing it. Oh, it's so hot. And I like an OTPHJ. Oh, the pants handy. Yeah, because there's no technique. You can't fuck it up. Yeah. Well, you can. It's kind of like. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Is your is your man into over the? What what is he into? Are you okay saying? Not this? shitting himself. <laughs> God <laughs> damn prune juice. He's not that old. He's not. He's, not. He's so hot. <laughs> He's so much hotter than both of us. It's crazy. <laughs> but but I do like an older guy because he like knows what he wants. Yeah. He knows what he's into. What is he into? I mean, Put it. <laughs> Sex in your early 20s, like no one knew what the fuck was going on. I knew what I wanted. <laughs> but did you know what to do? Uh, honestly, <laughs> I fucked my pillow so many times, I felt like I did. I mean, dude, I, I feel like if anybody is this boy, dude, I, I, would, I would literally put my <laughs> pillow, a syllabus. I would put my pillow in literally positions when I was You're like, when I was like here. 13, I'd literally flip it over. I, I, everyone knows, smack it. no, for real, everyone knows I used to put my mom's lingerie yeah, on a pillow, sleep, bitch. on a pillow and I literally would flip it over and use like the nubs that Does are that coming, that are coming out of my mom's lingerie as feet. <laughs> and I would just move it around like in like positions. I watched porn way young. So I was like, oh, I was, it was even dude, the pillows had feet. Yup. Oh, you like feet? Love feet. But here's oh, the thing, dude. I, I, I was watching porn since I was so. I, I watched game film, dog. So I knew. Like, game I, film. Game film. That was wait, 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 dude, wait. That was game film. <laughs> oh, you were out here taking watching. notes. Okay. How do you feel yeah. about toe hair? I am so fucking out. Oh, I, I see. Hey. <laughs> No, I, I'm sorry. Like I have, like I have hair in my knuckles, like cute. Cool, get her out. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, have, no. I have hair in my toes. I'll shave it for you. Big event 
or just like I know that you like this. Occasionally, and... I'll shave it and I cut myself, and then my toes bleeding. I have to explain why my toes bleeding. Yeah. And that's hard to get around. Yeah, but think, it is. Like, I think oh, a scab you. on a toe is maybe worse than hair. <laughs> I have like so, tennis feet though. I've like lost my toenail a hundred times. I'm out. So, <laughs> so what she's do you learning do? to love herself. Oh, so you you're gonna like feet, but then you're gonna be like, like there's really that beautiful feet. Yeah, out I was there. in a sweaty yes. Reebok all day, but two <laughs> hairs yeah. being like, hey, you're just like, like, hey. <laughs> so what just, do you do? Oh, good. What? What do you do if you see like a little bit of hair and and, and you're, little, you're with this woman? You're like, oh, Brita, oh, oh, a little bit, a little bit is fine. What's uh, your ideal foot? Ooh, I mean, we question. can bring it up. <laughs> probably like um let's see do you have like, an ideal foot yes whose oh 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 like someone specific i i don't but but so what would you bring up <sighs> like a perfect foot for me is probably do you know like when the second toe is like a little longer yeah i hate it cut it off <laughs> <laughs> cut yeah. it off it's like my labia just like that. yep <laughs> funny <laughs> funny is that what it looks like for real that's <laughs> so funny <laughs> ever so slightly <laughs> You got it? Okay. Um, <laughs> probably like a size size five, five and a half Sizes? foot. Um desc descending descending toe order. Um and uh just like yeah, just and and <laughs> that boy. And, he's talking about it like it's an that ass. Boy malfunctioning yes. down there. And, 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 and uh, like uh, and uh, I don't uh, like uh, I don't uh, like uh, 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 I don't like flat feet. Little little arch is fucking perfect. And uh, what well, kind of mile well, does she have to run? Excuse me. What time mile does she have to run? Don't Seven run. <laughs> oh, no running. No, I don't want you to so, fuck your feet up. You can do the elliptical wheelchair. like a bow flex or some shit. Wheelchair feet, hot, kind of small because they haven't used their muscles in years, but it's fine. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you do you want a pedicure? Day? Yes, ma'am. Pedicure. Yes, uh, ma'am. <laughs> French. French is too much. Just yeah. white toenails. White. White. White so trim hot. or white all the way. White all the way. The the French tips has some. Some say, sometimes people come to my shows and are like, look, I got a French tip. I, it's hot, but I but it's not. It's too much. It, it seems yeah. like you're trying too hard. Okay. Here we go. I, I can't <laughs> Here what we you said. fucking go, dude. Out of picture. I these, do say nothing which, for me. Yeah, which one of these is close? So I, the ones on the right, they it's too long on the second I'm toe. Fucking um. Thank you. Um, what about this? No. No, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> yep. And and I don't she like put her the, Instagram tag on it. I mean, blur her <laughs> shit. Um, no free clout. Are you guys on, oh, on WikiFeed? Out of, out of these, I am. Yeah. Out of these, okay. bro. I didn't probably submit see myself. Who's higher. I didn't submit. Probably. On there? I'm on. The the What's ones your, to the yeah. left. We'll Let's see who's rating is higher. So Please. down. Motherfucker doing a goddamn <laughs> Nintendo 64 code right now. Left, He's right, square, B. He's doing a master class on. Yeah. So dude, there. That's your ideal. That's not my. I, that shit looks like lima beans. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, out of all these feet, these are, he got he picked horrible ones. This is no, ideal. because he can you no, can you no. search just put, just Trevor put, Wallace wiki feet? Yeah, do that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to um, I want to see I what his added. rating is. Wait, wait. You have five stars. Bitch, I'm fucking out here. We like thousands of, of ratings. ratings too. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait. Go. You're huge on Wiki feet. I'm huge in the pants, and I'm not. But go up. Wait, I'm five point three out of five. I beat the Richter scale. <laughs> Wait, what? Bro, Michael, I got fucking Christmas out out early for <laughs> you, Bring dog. Out. Christmas Bring out. His feet are beautiful. How oh, the no. fuck <laughs> did they find that? That's somebody's Instagram story from my old apartment. That was like three years ago. Yeah, they're good at their job. Wow. You do, you do have great feet, man. Wait, that Any was like reviews? gorgeous. People who like Trevor Wall's feet also liked Shawn Mendes, Noah Centineo, Joe Santagato. Can great you check company. mine? There's no way, Joe. I love you, Joe. But there's no way you got good feet. Uh oh, boy. How, well, how many ratings do I have? Uh, <laughs> oh. Wait, zoom in right there. What does that say? I can't see that number. Where? Oh, right you're five point three five out of five. Five point three five out of five, bro. I got extra credit. <laughs> the fact that they work. found that, uh, dude. I don't know. I think they're just so horny. They're like, yeah, I don't know. I love how they yeah, have a different that. site for men. I like jokingly blur my feet in videos now, but low key. Oh, I have a lot. Oh, I have a lot. Do that and zoom in. <laughs> oh my god you are giving them away you are giving the dogs so that dog park they is free to good. enter the, the, here bark, they bark. There. here they i mean they, they, no, they, they, i mean i don't know the, what's going on on the right of it the symmetry of the toes are really nice this is this is that's a good foot but there is so what would you like that even if i had a couple hairs no <laughs> oh no the man has standards i have to respect manscape.com promo code Ick. Honestly, I gave that shit away so quick. Yeah, go out, did. but now, but these are all like, you oh yeah, didn't that know. one. Go to that the one, one. The, the one dude. That is my. Up. That's my favorite. <laughs> Michael, 
Contain yourself for a guest. Okay, so I do have a good arch. I do have a good Dude, fucking I'm, arch. No, 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 can I just say this real Wait, quick? Is this actually doing something for you? No, well, legally? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> legally. No, no. I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing the spin because this just this position is so hot to me. Like I will. I don't know what this position is, but I try to Google. I try to Google. That's like I'm on the phone with a man that you have some feelings with. Position right there. Your feet kicked up. The feet kicked up. Head. Talking about your like, favorite kind bro. of ice cream. Bro, did your dad like talk to you as a kid? Did he say he was proud of you? Yeah. No. So yeah, I mean, you've yeah, just been you've been job. dropping. Thank you. I do, do have a good dated? Arch. Wait, what is your rating? Oh. No, it's not that it's good. Not shot, but it is saying beautiful feet in parentheses. Who? Who's no, that fuck kind of score? Is that no? I'm that's like a good a participation that's trophy. My that's, <laughs> did you do a full blown podcast with your feet out? <laughs> you did. What the fuck? It's dirty look, too. That, dude, look, that's your husband. Oh my feet. God. That's your husband. <laughs> oh no. Wait. So you're like, wait, you guys recording? Yep. Just but you know what? Your Nike. I guess I just, I, I feel like people, I want people to follow me from my personality, not my feet. Facts. That's what I think too. So too. I haven't put much Go, Wait, is Michael it. on here? But now I'm thinking I think that so like either. I have no, to. It's just level. Michael with someone, binoculars. You. We got a DM the other day. Um... <laughs> Try, bro, if, bro, if, if you missed that trap set, it's just Michael with binoculars. It's gotta be. <gasps> hold oh, up. hold up, Wait. bro! That's <laughs> your old place, <laughs> bro. You Yo, what is this? Up. That's you. That's know, your old place. This? That's the fireplace. You doing oh fucking handstands, bro? You been? That's from the merch, merch drop. Video. Oh my god, you this are is giving so them away. Weird. Well, you know it's even. Who the fuck's having sex next door? Well, you know what's even crazier? Look at the top left. That's a not that a new screenshot. That's a photo of a desktop. That's even worse. <laughs> Wait, so do you think more girls are in defeat or guys are in defeat or it's like doesn't Scroll matter? Game? I think uh, I think guys are in defeat. Is that right? yoga? Right. Are we doing yoga? What is uh, that these, parkour? These are, like, these are like weird videos I used to make. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I can't believe this. Go go up. What's the score? I mean, not good. Wow. 4.38. So the floor general. Out of what, though? Out of five. Hey. All right. <laughs> wow. Have you ever been with someone who had a foot fetish and you guys together kind of? I never have, no. I'm not. A, I'm pretty into sub, like women that are submissive and I feel like like getting my, like, I, I don't know why I feel like it's um it's me being submissive when I'm getting my feet looked and I don't I don't like it. That, that about, gives me the What if she looks your butthole? Into it. Couldn't be more into it. Please wow. sign her up for Congress. Jesus Christ. Which is great, but I'm, it's so funny how you don't feel submissive there. But, but you know, what is that about, about that? You, you know what, what it is? What position do you sit in to make yourself feel like alpha? No, but it's it's the feeling that I give towards it. Because I go eat, I go fucking do it. Like yes. that. Because that, I'm like, yeah. Th like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, it's empowering. So I'm like, do that. You do that. But you gotta bro, sit. I'm telling you, you gotta man, sit you like a little toes? bitch, though. You gotta sit like this. Yeah, <laughs> you have to like watch something really. You have to watch like uh, Mansers or something yeah. on TV. You have to watch Gladiator. Spy TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you use Postmates raw liver. Wow, you have yeah, good yeah, hip yeah, flexors. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, like you do yoga. You do Pilates. I do sex. <laughs> no, I, I used to do hot yoga. I loved it. My oh, boss used to own so a hot weird. yoga studio and it'd be free for us. And we'd go. Oh, shit. There's the best. I think there's that feeling of like when you leave a hot yoga class. Oh, it's, it is the best. And then you like go out into the real world and it hits. Mm. Yeah. That's like a nut from I think the more men atmosphere. should do yoga for sure. Oh, yeah. Because it is, it it is like help. therapy for your body and brain. Apparently, if you've been through trauma. How do you feel about uh, guys who do ice baths? I, well, as someone who was forced to do ice baths a lot in college. But you played a sport. Because I Oh, you're saying I'm just talking, to be like for my, you know. I'm just talking to a guy, Glenn, who sells fucking cameras. Absolutely not. That's so annoying. Let me tell you something though, man. <laughs> Absolutely. But that is the ick. But isn't life a sport? No. All, All right. right. I try to drop some knowledge. No one gave a fuck. No. Just because you got eaten out last night doesn't mean you have to go in an ice bath. Yeah, I want it it's like when guys have like really impressive abs and they're not a professional athlete. I don't like that. Why? It gives me the ick. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Because I'm like, what are you running from? What are you trying to overcome? I'm not trying for? to run from. I'm trying to run towards pussy. <laughs> but this is, a, it's kind of like there's something hot about a guy who let himself go like a little bit because he's like so busy. No, like he doesn't have time. To <laughs> no, that's that. I, that that type. That type yeah, of thing that's is me wrong. right there. I used to be shredded. Yeah, but that's I'm wrong. Booking so I many like TikTok that. commercials. Can I, can what I happened you? to Trevor? He got fat. You well, know. No, no, no. This is my the thing. The game don't stop. Because I da I've dated like football players in college, and like it's Talk annoying that it. they have to like. Oh, these guys are fucking like 
they'd like put us make a smoothie right in the morning with like yeah. pre-workout Oatmeal, and then they'd pre-workout. walk outside with the blender like just holding the blender yeah. well, that's but that's that was their thing whatever and i'm like oh. it's okay you're on espn that's your sport fast forward when you're like 25 and you're with the dude he's like i'm gonna go to the gym for four hours yeah and you're yeah. kind of like and then he's like you're trying to just eat dessert and he's like no like i'm checking my macros like that's not fun for me no, i don't want not- to be with a guy who's that extreme about his like body I don't need like I haven't girls struggle with eating doors eating disorders enough. I don't need you like having eating disorder too. That I no that that I agree with that yeah. I agree because because then it then it's impacting you. Yeah. But if a dude is just like going to the gym for like an hour. Yeah. Every if he's day going to the gym yeah. so he doesn't shoot up a mall, go for it. Yeah. Like I I. <laughs> he laughed a little too much on that. Oh yeah, Philly boy on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's boy tweaking on edge. right now. Yeah, he, he needs a oh, hot yeah. yoga Even class. Even the, the sound of a bird is like, shut the fuck <laughs> up, this motherfucker. <laughs> Talk, I believed in you. <laughs> Did you guys like Rihanna's show? What was the, what was your perspective? Didn't didn't I see it. it. I, I thought it was like. Didn't I think it. she flew in. She fucking put that shit to work. Got her bag. Got the fuck out Uh-oh. of there. People were flew like, flew in. He's gonna kill himself. <laughs> birds. <laughs> Go birds. But I think she showed up. She hit all the classics yeah. and then fucking dipped. I mean, it's, yeah. it was Rihanna being Rihanna. She, yeah. I, I think she did a good I job. I thought it was think, almost iconic. I think Uh-oh. a lot of people were expecting. The, the problem was last year I had like 19 different artists and there was mm-hmm. different guests and 50 Cent was upside down for some reason. <laughs> Ice he was bath. like slightly overweight. Yeah, so, See, I like that. That turned me on. So I think people are just looking for that. Look, is Jay-Z coming out? Is Eminem coming out? Yeah. But it's like, is that she, not good enough? Ex- I think that was her point. She was going to be like, I'm going to just go me, one outfit. Yeah show you all my great work over these years and she has hits she, the bitch has hits it's like it's, she got tits too hey <laughs> those pregnant tits those she's pregnant <laughs> those i didn't <laughs> see it i don't know what i'm i don't know why i'm even commenting i didn't see yeah, it yeah she uh she's a little baby bump asap rocky shooting up the club respectfully Again? yeah, yeah. <laughs> two babies respectfully. two babies asap was like asap yeah. yeah, he's like ASAP when become ASAP. For what sure. in February? <laughs> <laughs> so imagine if like it's getting serious and your career is going well right now. Mm-hmm. What are you? How old are you? Thirty. Yeah, your eggs are dying a little. Mine. If you were a girl, what uh, would you do right now? Would you? Wait, wait, would wait, you wait tr- I'm lost. You- I'm, <laughs> you're, 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 you're a girl in this situation. Am I me? You're a girl, but With you're the same you. you. But you're like girl. you have the same career, but you're a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> You still make cat videos. Yeah, (laughs) cat videos. Uneven. I'm blowing bambles. You're making fun of fuck boys. You're killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you try to knock out two babies now? Oh, interesting. Or would you wait? Because I'm at this point where I'm 31. My career just started to get kind of hot, and I'm like, do I wait and try to see if I could like get bigger? It's it's a difficult thing that female comics and female entertainers. Yeah. Do you I freeze think, your eggs? That's what that's what people are doing now. But freezing your eggs is not. You don't just like drop them off at the fridge. Like you have to inject yourself. Yeah. For thirty days with hormones, you act like a like psychotic human. So normal. <laughs> so <laughs> honestly, kind of chill for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I think you. What's in it? But you do like, want kids. You both want kids. I, He's kind of like he'd be fine without him at this point. Well, he's got about another nine years. So <laughs> <laughs> that is true because both of you guys are touring so heavy. So it's and ha- you would yeah. want to. You, I think it needs to be a time where both of you are like kind of like yeah. Because I mean, it's hard if you have a child and he's like, I'm going to the Funny Bone in Des Moines. You're like, what <laughs> <Yeah>. about Rupert? <laughs> Rupert, I don't know. He's Irish. That's just like, <laughs> Seamus. What about yeah, Game Hen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I th- I think you do two years crushing it. You're doing great right now. And then you tease it. You know how people do merch shops? Mama might be pregnant next year. Get yeah. your merch. Well, I do think we're in yeah. a new time, yeah, where I can then, like, maybe I'll be traveling less, but people will like to follow that path yeah, here, of mine. I, here's or, what you do. Yeah. You work your ass off right now. What you're doing, what you're doing. You film a special in about a year and a half. You drop it. And then right after the special, baby. That's exactly you, what I thought. Really? Yeah, because like I don't want it. After the special, you need to write new shit anyway. Right. right. So I'll be like just and watching my baby. Like, that was annoying. Like, that was annoying. Yeah. yeah. That was funny. You should have the baby come out and then press publish on Netflix. Yes. Baby come TikTok out of your live. pussy and TikTok boom. live. No, I I think uh I think you're at a very great place in your career. And I think <laughs> yeah. you just I, I had to Venmo him for the social media advice. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> no. Masterclass. But it's interesting to talk to someone because I'm th- I just turned I'm a fresh 31. Uh-huh. And so it's interesting to talk to someone else as a dude in like their perspective. Have do you want kids? Eventually, yeah. 
I just don't want to be like 60 and like, just like my, my neighbors at my last place, they were both older and they never had kids. And all this guy does is just fixates on the house and the, the neighborhood yeah, and, like and the plants garden. and the noises. Cause you don't have yeah. kids. You, the you focus on the night. The, the neighborhood is your kid. The neighborhood gossip. And he's just like, he's just so like sporadic and like a squirrel goes too loud. And he's like, Oh fucking get the gun. Like, I don't, like, I don't <laughs> sure right now. I don't want a kid. But, you know, I definitely want to raise a family and mm -hmm. I want to have something that I can like care about and extend mm -hmm. what, whatever. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. Make a family. Make a child. Mm -hmm. You know, Hell you can yeah. be on TikTok live. <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, there is it, it is. it is very sad to like have a lot and not be able to share it with somebody like that's we talk about all the time, like alone in a mansion like that dog. That is like that's super, super sad to me. And we we all know we're not going to say their names. But we all know people that are very yeah, like successful. You guys that are, see that in L.A. Like we're yeah. in New York. We just think we're like they just walk outside with palm trees and they take videos and it nah. seems like beautiful no nah. yeah um <laughs> the hollywood hills none of us live there but you go there at night and there's an eerie vibe to it you like know a, it's a, a haunting quietness yes, yes it's the most successful people in town but you're like is this it just well, you feels... almost you work to be like so successful that you're so elite and everyone respects you so much and then next thing you know you're like i don't want to be with the general public yeah and then you're yeah like it's and then lonely then a year later you're snorting fentanyl off your oscar i mean that's not that's not a life that's not a life could be <laughs> could be but i think it's like you sh you shun away so many people on your career because like, oh, yeah. work. i'm working here i'm this yes and then you pick your head up and you're like i, I yeah someone made a viral video about like how to become huge on tiktok and they were like post three to five times a day original content right. find your voice ignore your family ruin all your relationships <laughs> ignore your family being step number seven is hilarious it should be step number like, one just stopped after post three times a day God. call your grandma well, tell you don't love her <laughs> tell your grandma that she's ruining your i mean there's engagement. parts of that where it's like you have to like turn down like fun opportunities on the weekend i mean the first three years i lived out here all my friends would be going to all the bars on the west side and i'd be like yeah i'm just gonna make fucking videos that nobody's gonna see yeah and do stand up at like 2 p.m at an open mic but over time, you if you believe in yourself, that something will happen. Well, but that's what's hard. Once you start doing what you love, th I mean, it's not hard, but like then you start making money and you're like, this is what I wanted. What do I do with this? I know. In that yep. way, a little of like, because the, the chase is the, fun. you forget about it, but when you watch all those documentaries of people who blow up, the best times are always like, yeah, I was, you know, with my boys and we were like fucking around in a van and like, that's always the best part. Yeah. But I think you're retroactively looking back and being like, oh, that was so fun True. because we had no responsibility. True. Also, we were eating ramen noodles at each other's <laughs> asshole. So it wasn't a great time. Or it was. Or it was. But you did also <laughs> have if, if it's expectations, it was bleach. really. Yeah. Why? You're yeah. kind of like, we're just fucking around. We made this video and it blew up and you're like. Because you weren't thinking about like I need to make the What's next. What's the hit. next one? What's yeah. the next one? I think I think something that people and we talk we've talked about this before. I think the thing that people do that's that is detrimental is they try to say yes to everything and then you then you want your head to explode. I think a good skill to learn and we're all trying to learn at this point where it's like let's narrow the focus because mm -hmm. I think once you start being a business that you're making money. There's 9,000 people being like, you should do this, you should do this. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you go, you had this famine mentality back in the day. So now you're like, yes to everything. And then that yes to everything fatigues you to a point where it's not fun anymore. You'll That's literally out. what it's I'm longevity. working on with my therapist right now. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs> no, it's, but really longevity. it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. <laughs> but also yeah. in what age, like stand-ups back in the day, stand-ups did not also have two podcasts, right. also have all the content that they're making online. Yeah, it was just stand-up. Stand-up so, was like, good. All you needed was stand-up. Was you didn't need the extra. Yeah. So now, like, the second I'm, you know, done with stand-up, in my head, I'm getting emails about podcasts yep. and I'm getting emails yep. about content and brand collaborations, which is fucking amazing. But, like, now I'm at that point where I need to know what to say no to, but I have that yeah. opportunity. Well, you learn by experience. Side. I yeah. I, I've taken multiple brand deals that weren't good and the rate was fine. Mm -hmm. But it was like a big ask. And I was like, oh, it's a new year. I need to say yes to something. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm in the middle of it. I'm like, why the fuck did I say yes to this? Yeah. But now you know. You know, it's almost like me and you when we first did our Zoom. Yes. I was so upset that this, that I've never had a, a Zoom podcast not work. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Something happened in my building where they shut it off. Yeah. And I'm like, I was making jokes to him and it was just freezing. And I was like, he either <laughs> thinks I'm bombing or... Or he hates me. Oh no! First or I, and I was just like, I can't, I can't do this right now. And he was so nice, but he was like, I, and I was like, I'm not wasting your time. Yeah. And then I, I remember trying to like be like, I want to record with this guy again. It just wasn't happening, and I was like, fuck. I guess I'm like Trevor Wallace and I are just not gonna record. Yeah. But then fast forward, I didn't force it. 
Didn't and this force is probably it. a better time now. Yes. We should talk about. And it got me thinking. I force so many things in my career. People force so many relationships, friendships. Yeah. It's like taking a shit. If you have to force it, it's oh, not the time. God. Wait twenty minutes. Have a Chipotle, and it's gonna flow. And Honestly, a very wholesome message with Thank a lot you. of meaning behind it. Thank you. Yeah. And use her promo code at Chipotle <laughs> diarrhea. No, I I do feel that. Anytime yeah. I go, this video has to blow up, this video has to go viral, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. But it's always the ones I was like, oh, I hope people like this. This was a fun one to make. Well, that, or that, ones that like you made you laugh. Yeah, well, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> I think everything I put out at some point, I was like, oh, this is funny. Yeah. But sometimes it's just whatever. What's your thing with cats? I just grew up with cats my whole life. And they're so I just, funny. They, they're, they're, <laughs> mannerisms are they're just not like normal pe like they're they're so dumb and you know will, so dumb. do you know will ferrell's snl audition yes I saw, uh, yes no oh my god dude could we could we bring that up will ferrell's snl oh, audition don't, don't tell, oh, do i want well i'll just say in general like oh, it was him just doing an impersonation of a cat that was it that was it that was it oh it, well it was, it was one of the characters one of the did, characters right? and it was the most incredible thing i've ever Real, seen i know i don't know i love him and he dog and i, I mean you know snl auditions right like it's pretty like no one laughs so he's doing a full committed. We can watch live it. Or, or uh, this was there wasn't self tape. So this fucking no, no he, it was, was, he, in... was, he was in SNL studio. <laughs> oh wow! In front of in front of Lauren Michaels and everybody. There's probably you know whatever six people in the room. It's very tan. Mrs. Duckweiler, please hold all my calls. I'll be busy for the next half hour or so. Uh, I've got a lot of paperwork I need to do. Thank you. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. <laughs> I thought of him practicing this at home. Know, so funny too. But like, it's, even the, the subtle things. Of oh, him, I like, love my cat. Like, I just look at him every morning. Tell Don Jacobs to hold. Yes. No, I'm busy. Thank you. <laughs> when they slow down and then speed up. Yeah. I think cat people are funnier. <laughs> you know? Pauses. My cat just discovered catnip recently. The boy oh, really? off the perks. The boy is going He's off the perk 30s. He loves it. Perk 30. What does it do? It's, it's like, just like stimulate. It's like coke for them a little. Yeah, it's just he's just like is it when cats will pause because they're like trying to scare you? Like it's yeah. so fucking. Funny. No, I literally this morning like my cat was looking at me and I was like, "Fuck you, looking!" And then it just darts away. And then it comes <laughs> back and then he'll like like when I'm running up the stairs, he'll like attack my ankles. <laughs> I'm like, "Are you trying to fucking beef right now?" And then, Dude, just I have like, like a 10 minutes of cat material, but I've noticed like people love talking about, especially dudes relationships with cats. Uh -huh. There's a lot of people saying like, men, why don't you like cats? And I'll do it on stage. Like, and a lot of guys don't have answers with me or they'll be like, oh, they don't like. They they're don't, not they're, alpha. They're, someone said though. they're unpredictable. And I was like, cats are all routine, especially when they love you. Like they, they are unroutine with you. That's true. But some guys, it's like they can't control the cat. And then I also think cats are feminist. Feminist. I mean, like feminine. So yeah. it's like maybe it, to, like <laughs> to to me like I to, Trev. I've said this hundred times on podcast. Trev's cat is the only cat that I like for real. Like, mm -hmm. um, I how grew many up with cats have my, you met? Say again. How many cats have you met? Uh, it feels like a lot of judgment <laughs> right now. Like so, like so much. Um, I I mean I would say probably a handful. I'd say you know five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never lived with one, so that's probably another. I'm also very allergic, so that's also a problem. Yeah, yeah. But dogs to me life is already so hard i don't want to have to prove <laughs> to my fucking thing that's supposed to give me love and support that you should love and support me <laughs> bitch come no, here but no, I don't, my cat fucking face. I, your cat like they love you from day one like your cat's obsessed with you there are so many cat facts that are saying like uh, uh, when a cat is looking at you they're like trying to figure out how to eat you no first of all also i hate this vi cats are murderous what cat has put an infant tiger. in their mouth tiger not a tiger. I'm talking about domestic cats. Oh. You know how many dogs have put infants in their jaws and no one talks shit you about that? You don't know what the infant said. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you have no idea. Gaga, Google, Google what did you say, They were bitch? trying to say, don't cut my <laughs> my dick. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You don't know. That, yeah. Leave my dick alone. Yeah. And I rot while I was like, what, bitch? Yeah. But Give I, me that foreskin. Cat. <laughs> you just gnawing on the foreskin. <laughs> It was headed there. We all saw it coming. <laughs> we, we did. Um, but but yeah. It, okay. If I'm if being, it's not your cat, yes, ma'am. Cats are very like you have to earn their trust. Well, I see a, both a sides because my parents have two cats. One of them is an all star, and one of them an that bitch. Uh, they only fuck with demons. one person. Well, yeah, 
The other one just kind of like hides in closets. Yeah, I mean, very there's offish. assholes everywhere. Sure. But I do think, I don't love the fact that a dog, like, would leave, would be more excited to see a stranger than me. Like, I feel like if I have a steak, I could steal anyone's dog. And that dog would be happy. They do be doing that. They do be doing that. Where my they cat? They do be doing yeah. that. She would jump off a building if someone else took her. She'd say, this life is not for me if Hannah's not in it. Yeah, but that's that's your perspective. If I have catnip and a one <laughs> ball, I'll take your cat and she'll live in West Hollywood with me. No problem. My, is, my, my husband fed my cat every morning for six months before she let him touch her. And now, like, well, she cuddles with him. Well, he's also a ghost, so. <laughs> 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 but she's funny. I like it because he's used to getting girls, you know? And she yeah. finally let him touch her, and then she'll cuddle with him when I'm not there. Uh, but yeah. then when I'm there, she pretends they never met. Full that fuck boy. That's that be like, she slept with me last night, and now she doesn't even make eye contact. And I'm like, sorry. Yeah, cats do a little bit of it. They, they do play games. Yeah, they play mental games. So it's good games. when you're on their their team, but it would be weird being on the other side. I feel like your, your cat doesn't do that at all. Oh, maybe he doesn't know that. That boy a little dumb. <laughs> all right. That boy a little dumb. <laughs> I love cats and dogs. I just, yeah. I try to have people see a different perspective of cats sometimes. That's my purpose. Pluto, his cat, was the, uh, I've seen this 12 times, was the first cat that I was like, oh, I, there is a different, I, there's a different side to this. Yes. I just haven't, I haven't uh, fully examined, obviously. Yes. Um, kind of like feet that are. Hairy? <laughs> I'll jump off a bridge. Um, we got two shall... questions yeah. for you, and then oh, we'll get cool. out of here. Hell yeah. 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 Um, These are written in by uh, people with feet and hopefully cats. <laughs> so the first one is uh, just kind of like a sock talk, which is like just a, you know, just like a sort of a question. And the second one is called secret sock, which is like just an anonymous confession. Yeah. Uh, so this one cool. is from Lucky, and Lucky says, uh, objectively, what do you guys think the best superpower is? Invisibility. <laughs> you could watch people take their socks off. I feel like yep. I get too horny too quick. <laughs> yeah, I'd put myself. Why do I go dirty immediately with the? Well, that's what, what I, I want to do with invisibility. Yeah, Helping an old lady do? across the street, and everyone's like, "Whoa, her arthritis is gone." Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I would do. Uh, invisible. Can I just say one thing about transportation? Wiley? Zing zing. Oh, uh, what is that called? Trans, tra transport us. The transport. Thank you. Teleportation. teleportation. Jason yeah. Statham. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I would transport. Uh, yeah. That would be great for a stand up. Everything. Holy fuck. Um, I would do you invisibility. Visit your parents in Vermont. Boom. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Bing. Back. I would just. Invisibility would be cool for me because, I mean, I could. Because Im immediately I would commit crimes. Mm -hmm. I'd just go to a bank vault, fucking just sit in that bitch, take all the money and leave. Like, and then you're just alone, invisible in a mansion. But I wouldn't be. Nah, invisible. Nah, I, I wouldn't be invisible all the time. I do. Yeah, but no one would even see you for you. That maybe maybe I feel. Invisible I would hurt my own feelings because <laughs> I would see my friends. But what are they talking about? They're like, dude, Michael's fucking blonde hair, not Yuck. it. And you're like, guys. Yeah, but I could. But I could use it for so much of a girl's like. So I was just thinking, what are we? Boom, <laughs> invisible. <laughs> But then what? Yeah, y'all been. And then another dude walks out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, that man a bitch. <laughs> Fine. Oh my god. Go birds. What <laughs> <laughs> ah! would be your superpower? It's game. I was gonna say um, mind reading, but I would hurt my own feelings. Yeah. Like it's like ignorance is bliss. I don't want to know what people think of me. I don't That's know. like your life has comments on always. Hilarious. Literally, you're walking down the Every street conversation. and somebody's like, "This bitch ain't funny." You're like, "I didn't even say anything." <laughs> No, I don't. And I realize every time you're like filming on the street, somebody's like, "Here we go again, another TikToker." <laughs> or like during yeah. the conversation, they're like, "This, I need to get out of this oh conversation." My God. Yeah. <laughs> you're talking to your dad, and he's like, "Nice rack." You're like, "What?" <laughs> and your mom's you like, I have, "I have an uneven vagina too." You're like, "Mom, <laughs> I had to get it from somewhere." But I, oh, this might fuck me up too. But I kind of like time travel. Uh, but wouldn't you be so scared about time travel? You go back and then and do one thing on a rose petal and it. And I want the butterfly to. Flecked? I what? want to. You want to? Yeah, I want to fuck shit up. Like, well, I think I'm more of a depressed than an anxious person. Right. Like, I'm always thinking about the past. Like, I wish I did that. I could have done that. Oh wow! I really? want to try that. Like, as in, I don't. But then I'm you not just go nervous. so far back. Then you're a baby. And then yeah. you don't cut your foreskin. <laughs> True. <laughs> but I feel circle. like yeah, like I don't worry about the future as much. I'm like, I'll deal with it, and then I'll stress about what I did. Like it's fine. Oh, you know. Okay. But I feel like going back in time could be cool. Then I had a theory that I like should have been a tennis player during like the Martina Navratilova time. Okay. I feel like Ooh, I would have been that? really. <laughs> you can't talk to him about sports. He has no idea what's happening. I was like, I'm going on a boys podcast. I'm gonna bring my sports knowledge. And yeah. he's like, Can we talk about cats? <laughs> yeah, I, I, am, I am not what they call an alpha male. I where, did am, you, where did you go to college for for tennis? University of Wisconsin. 
Oh my Go God. Badgers. Madison. 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 Hey, you've what done a good the comedy club. club? What a great. The greatest. best. The comedy best. Club. Literally also, the, the best. green room, I was like, can I move in here? Yes. I was like, yeah, sleeping bag. So much good food. I like the town a lot. Good food. The good thrift curds, stores. The thrift stores. I don't eat cheese curds. I love myself, but. No, I, I eat cheese curds. You're so, you've been in LA way too long. You don't eat yeah. cheese curds? Look at me. I'm wearing the fucking denim tuck fuxedo over here. No, I, That's I don't. That's a Canadian tuxedo, isn't it? Get them out. <laughs> no, it is. It's good. It is. It is. It is. Oh, okay. Um, they, I first signed with them because they gave me a cheeseburger with like a slab Sign of bacon and egg. Oh, the Wisconsin on it with cheese curds, and I was like, I will fuck this place up for four years. Uh, it was a, it was probably a fun school. It was, it was very fun, but I was playing forty hours of tennis a week. So I mean, it sucked. Dude, university, like that's a great tennis program. I you chose it because really I was good. like, they're gonna treat me like a professional athlete. But the thing is, women's tennis is like bottom of the totem pole. Oh, is so, it? So like we have like th- five thirty a.m. wait times to oh, use the gym. No, and, like they have tons of gyms, but like there's a lot of athletes. The men's basketball like walks in at nine, you know, like dabs people up, like yeah. full pre workout still in the blender. <laughs> exactly, they're like, but it was so cool. Like I was there when JJ Watt was there. I was yeah, there when. Sure. Uh, um, Russell Wilson Wilson was there uh-huh. I was there when like Frank Kaminsky was there like I was there when we were like the, the, finals no of the that NCAAs. was a school that I like when I did shows there I was like I am jealous of this college town because it was a Saturday was, when there was a game and like, oh. the whole town just red and white well, that's the thing everybody like so much school Wisconsin because there's like they love the Packers obviously but like when there's a game day the whole state comes it was so cool yeah. we're like coming from New York City I don't even what do I? We don't root for. It. We have so many fucking teams. I don't even know what's going I mean, on. No, the Mi- small like towns Knicks, have one. The thing, yeah. It's like Buffalo. Like the fact that they have their own football team. That yeah. place is fucking Bills mafia. crazy. I mean, you thought Philly boys were insane. I Bills know. mafia. If you're on stage and you just say Bills, oh, like, I did a show. <laughs> I did a show <laughs> in Buffalo, <laughs> and I, I I forget. I said one thing, and then a chant started, and you can't stop it. You lose control. It's just. The, uh, dude, I it's lost like control. A a YouTube ad times. you can't skip. You're like, here I am, just two minutes. <laughs> fucking I'm just pissed. Pissed. Right, boom, red, red, blue. And you're just like, <laughs> and but you start doing a little weird dance on but stage. Like, I think they wanted me to be like sports, sports, and I'm just like, guys, I don't. Is this still going on? You ever bop around Texas, and it's like you have a show Dallas, Austin, yeah. and I started to get the teams mixed up, and I liked on stage to like get people revved up and be like, you know, you know, go Texans! Oh, no. And I said uh, one in, in the Dallas? wrong place. One dude stood up and was like, fuck you! And I stood there and oh I was like, where God. are we? Where are we? And I was like, like I like know sports pretty well. Yeah. And then I was like, go! And I like, go Cowboys! And then he was like, yeah! And I was oh, like, thank shit. God. You could lose a whole crowd. <laughs> you like forget little details. Like I have this joke where I talk about Trevor Lawrence, who's the quarterback for Jacksonville Jaguars or something. <laughs> and I said something and it was in the city where he like went to college and then they get this big roar and you're oh, like, yeah. oh, you forget like little things Things like that mm-hmm. but yeah I, I a friend of mine in philly opener tony casillas he <laughs> is from dallas and in philly they hate dallas right yeah. and yeah. he was like i'm gonna get them to chant like fuck philly go dallas but he's like i want to do it for a video like a funny video and the second he goes like i'm from dallas like it like i've oh, never God. heard booze so loud in my life and he had oh, a great yeah. set never heard booze so loud in my life and i was like dude how like i gotta go on next yeah don't do You're that about to kill this fucking <laughs> dallas kid and, and and somehow he 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 it was able to save it at the last second. Was like, no, I'm jealous. You guys team, you guys have yeah, great quarterbacks yeah. in this. And, but like, there was a moment where I was like, oh, they, he's they're gonna kill him. I once was in Michigan. You know, there's Ann Arbor, which is like Michigan, and then there's Michigan State. And yeah. I did Grand Rapids, and I had like a great show, like ending it. And I'm like, thank you. And I think I said Ann no. Arbor. Oh. <laughs> no. I was like, thank you, Ann Arbor. And everyone started freaking. Out. I was like, I need to get out. Of this. At the <laughs> oh, I know, shit. but still, it, like, you go in the green room and you're like, oh. I hate myself. <laughs> yeah. Some cities have a I'm lot like of pride. I'm like done with that shit. Like I don't even know where I am sometimes. Of course. I don't even, I don't say anything. We're just like a jet setting. Just like you get on a plane, you just or, land. Or setting. you like, uh, you miss it by a letter. It's like Greenville. <laughs> you say Greensville. And like, what the fuck? <laughs> there no S in there, you fucking idiot. Wait, where are you from originally? Out here, Southern California. Oh, what? Where are you I was from? born in Illinois Maryland. though. Oh. Midwest boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Show whoa, me some whoa, tits. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Il- Naperville, Sturdy, Illinois. corn fed. Uh, yeah. You're pretty damn. narrow for a Midwest man. Damn. Narrow as fuck. Like a though. pencil. Narrow. These are not getting worse. Like or a better. cricket. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I was born in Illinois for like two years. My mom was like, it's cold, California. Good for her. No, yeah. yeah. Shotty in- knew what she wanted. <laughs> Our like football team at Wisconsin had like a bigger offensive line than the Packers at the time. These guys wow. were like 380, like wow. huge, just eating everything. And it's all dairy. So we're all just shitting ourselves. Great. Just yeah. like you said with Chipotle earlier. Yeah. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Yeah. And you know what's meant to be next? Look at this transition. 
Let's do some well, anonymous what a segue. Questions. Questions. Secret sock, anonymous submission. Uh, we have someone that wrote in today and needed some advice. Um, yeah. So she says, <laughs> my husband watches porn before he initiates sex. Is this normal? Mm. I mean, listen, sometimes you got to get your engine going in, in unique ways. Are you allowed I, to be around or is he like, can you get out of the room for a sec? Yeah, that's a The get out of the room yeah. thing is, yeah. But, but I've, I think like with a partner, I've been like, do you want to watch some porn? Yeah, get yeah. going. Yeah. But I get nervous like to see what, like I'll get jealous. What they're going to click. Yeah, like if he's into like all these blondes, like I'm like, what the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, you you're cheating on me. You have to describe your girlfriend in porn. What? <laughs> it, has yeah. to, it has to be a girl that looks exactly like me. Uneven labia. <laughs> Send exactly. hairy just, feet. Some, Enter like, vagina that looks so different than mine. The whole time I used to be like, her her vagina is disgusting. It but sounds like it. a cute activity, but it gets Not. very and like two comics. The sec you can't watch it seriously. No, no. And, because but, you see the video you want to click, but then you're like, whoa, this uh, girl gets tutored. Oh, that seems fun. But the other one's like, it's plowed by emo <laughs> bitch in the fucking closet. Dyson or, vacuum. This guy was like, let's watch some. <laughs> It's an era. <laughs> this guy was like, let's watch some porn. And he, I was like, yeah, I like that video. We click the video and he just fast forwards and the guy's just like smashing you her. And to. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We need some like build up. Like nah, I need some. No and he goes, that's yeah. the yeah. guy. He goes, I, go, I don't want to see him just like fucking. I'm a Caesar finale guy. No. The fuck yeah. I need the intro I, want, I, want I don't to need tease you her. watch you making a fucking Caesar salad. Shut up. Yeah, Take your we, clothes the off. The intro, the backgrounds. No, I'm I want to see Vegas. like the strip tease. No. I want to see like how she looks at him. I'm into to that okay but i don't need i don't need to know that you look at a jiffy he went fully care. like it Spark was just notes. i was like ah like i was like upset yeah yeah i needed like a second to decompress but yeah, i think it's fine that he i think it's fine some girls will be like oh like this guy has trouble getting hard a lot of it is just their own sh it's difficult that's performing yeah. hard I, yeah i will say sometimes uh sometimes like scrolling the old instagram will like get me going and then i'll like and then I'll I don't like the, that. And then I'll go to the lady. I like if we were I, dating. I hear you. Absolutely. Not. No, no, no. I, I don't. You can't I don't, tell her, but yeah. yo, this fucking yeah. bad bitch. Like, wait one sec. This girl going. I DM the last two years ago was fucking hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't like that at all. I also, but my friend, I used to be like, I don't want to do that because I would get jealous. Like watching him get turned on by another girl. Like it's like right. might as well have a threesome. Right. And my friend was like, you No, could. no, no. Guys are different. Actually, it was Paige who told me this. She was like, yeah. guys are different. They don't even know what their face looks like. Like, he right. just Correct. feels it. It's hot. He feels it. Where I'm like putting a storyline behind it. I'm like, oh, so you think sh you'd be happy with her? Like, yeah. <laughs> like there's no. a whole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we, we, there are, <laughs> there are you porn. Relay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> there are porn categories that the woman won't even show her head. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do you think she'd be funny? Like, do you think she has good banter? You think, like, that? I would literally be like, like, if he was like, oh, that was kind of funny, I'd be like, absolutely not. Next. But yeah. that, that helped me understand that, like, men and women do see that shit differently. But if you find a porn category you guys both like, use it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's not weird, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that if, well, I mean, obviously he's, like, being open about it, right? So I, don't, I honestly don't think... Is he like coming and then... It sounds like he's no, getting like I warmed up. chubbed up like, baby, yeah. get in here. You know? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't mind that. You know, people got to do what they got to do. Yeah. I don't... I, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And, unless and I think it's, it just became a routine for him now. Like, right. Yeah. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, it might be that sometimes like you could get too comfortable in your relationship and sex feels a little like, oh, we should kind of thing. <laughs> right. So maybe like change the dynamic a little or mm -hmm. be like, can I watch with you? Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's so hot. <laughs> God, it's so hot. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anything. Not for me. It wouldn't be like I would be asking questions during it. I'd be like, "Did yeah. you like that? Oh, what did you like about that?" Wow, like a lot of things have to be smooth for it to work. But yeah, yeah or have an idea beforehand. The one because if you're, you could search. It's like finding a Netflix movie. Here's like it'll take forever. You both pick one. And yeah, you go three, two, one. And then you show it to the other person, and then you go, "Cool, cool, no judgment." And you leave the room and watch that. Meet back in five. Hot. Real, real talk. That's honestly hot. Because I've done it where you're scrolling for like 10 minutes and then next thing you know, you're not turned on anymore and you're like, I actually am not attracted to you anymore. Yeah. Doesn't happen. Doesn't <laughs> yeah. happen with men. Yeah. I've never just been scrolling like, I'm done. I'm like bored. The shit he's Get the at. Kindle. I want words, not tits. Get the Kindle. <laughs> yeah. You know, your relationship is a shambles when you yell, Get the Kindle. <laughs> Get the Kindle. God damn. Bring one of them at Heroticas. <laughs> <laughs> Horotica. Horotica. I can't believe that's Last not a title. Yeah. Well, that's Hannah it. Burner, what do you got coming up? Oh what shows? What website? Thank you for what having your me. Socials? I just announced New York City and Boston. I have Great. some. Great. Where are you doing New York? I'm doing Town Hall. Oh, I've shit. done that. That's where I did it. 
That's sh- no, I'm not. I'm doing the Palladium. Didn't do that one. I'm doing Palladium, and then I'm doing Chevalier in Boston. Let's go. Bigger than Wilbur, smaller than Wilbur. It's bigger, but they hey. cut it off. What? Oh. <laughs> like I, I'm doing like two Wilburs labia. and a Chevalier, but they cut out like my labia. And then I'm going to Miami. I'm going. I have places. Go to HannahBurner.com. HannahBurner.com. Do it, oh, guys. Yeah. Super funny. Go check out on tour. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. This is so fun. So much fun. So fun. Not the one I wanted. We talked about um, them. All right. Where's the air horn? <laughs> I think it's top left. No, bottom. Bottom left. There, you there go. it is. Hannah Burner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is it, dude. Thank you guys so much for listening to watch. We really Very appreciate fun it. Holy shit. Um, all right, that is <laughs> I'm it. Like exhausted after. Yeah, Always. me too. Peace Always. and love, guys.